All right, we're back. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to session. Can you all hear me okay, by the way? I know I, I'm, I'm just using the laptop yeah. and microphone. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, because I broke my headphones. Oh, so sad. Anyway, um, so welcome back to le session 73 of our campaign. Um, I hope you've all been good. So, uh, if you're all ready to go, then we shall begin. Or I don't have anything to say. Right, is this is this seventy three or or two? I, I just said seventy three. Yeah, no, I was just double checking. I just don't have a seventy three written on my notes. So I'm assuming I've missed it somewhere. Um. um I'm pretty sure it's seventy three. Yeah. No. So it's, yeah, seventy two is the session that you were, you 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 yeah it was last session because you were, you leveled up on that session. Sure. Okay. Um, just double checking my notes. Yeah. That was yeah. All. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Damn you for confusing me. Uh, okay, so <laughs> okay, so well, let's begin. I think Richard's having some um, Discord issues. Oh, I thought you were going to say he's had some onion issues and he's having to throw up all the yes. onions. Yeah. Richard's having some onion-related issues. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Crying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the that's the original onion issue. Stand by, we are experiencing onion difficulties. Meanwhile, um, let's have some oh. onion themed jokes. Knock knock. Who's that? Uh, who's that? Onion. Onion, onion who? who? Onion mark, get set, go. That, oh. knock, that joke works on so many layers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. No. That is horrible. No, I just don't want to play D, &D with you guys anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wow! Jesus. What happens when you eat too many onions and then fart? Tear gas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so bad, the jokes. I love it. <laughs> okay. you, you can always get the best jokes by the first... If you type in something jokes and then you go on Google Images and look at the first page. Oh, they're, they're always like terrible like Facebook memes or something. Um, anyway. Are they all just minions? Uh, no, they're usually just bad drawings. But... Uh... Alright, well, then in that case, if everyone's here, uh, let's begin. <laughs> yeah. Right, so last we left off, the Clive Five had finally um, faced down Badran after discovering Rasik's betrayal of Gothrek. Um, you eventually fought Badran in a secret mine where the heart of Thaxando was captured by the Death Knight who was planning it on using it to free the spirit Mantanish, who is held in the cursed sword Rutherburn. However, Badran was uh, finally defeated, and the threat, the threat, the threat to Th Thaxando and the Grey Mountains was abetted. Um, afterwards, Gothric left the party, um, having to um, finish off, basically sorting the orcs out, because the last time he left, well, Rassic became too powerful. Um, so you all retired to your keep uh, in Erstalwalt, where um, after being there for a couple of days, um, you met with Taman, Mona's mentor, who uh, told you about some conspiracy deep within the Grace of the Crow, um, her monk order, where the temple seems to have been infiltrated by some sort of dark threat. So, um, the date is... The 21st... Ooh, is it? No, it isn't. It is... Yes, it is. The 21st day of autumn. Um, what would you like to do uh, as you are currently spending time in Erstalwalt? Um, you, you also uh, were told that a, a famous lawmaster is currently in Oristas, trying to find Aaron Kessera. Um, and at some point planned on heading there, but until then, what would you like to do? What, can I just open up with asking, where, just to remind me what we did with the lodestones, the, the other ones? One's in your cave, yep. and one is in... Um, no, we've, we've just uh, got them all on us. So. Yeah, you, you just picked them all up, all the ones you had. Yeah. yeah oh. We went back to the cave to check that... Um... The air lodestone had been stolen because yep. Mourner had a... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went and retrieved it. Yeah. Someone we keeps all our secrets. Did we retrieve it? I think he brought, it, brought them all back, yeah. didn't he? Okay, okay. So now oh. we have four? No, you only have three, because the uh, the Earth Lodestone is 
is back with Gothric, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I thought we just took it. Yeah. It's... What, you've taken it from... So, go... no, I... you took it from... Because it's it's from the Grey Mountains, Gothric wanted to return it. You have the fire, the water, and the air one. Oh, okay. But there's other places you can get an, a, a lodestone of earth. And then we can all become gods. <laughs> without pissing off all the orcs in the meantime. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, I, I want to know what these... So I'm still one out of character, but the like, I still want to know like what the lodestones can actually do. Like, like what the whole fuss is. So, like, we either need to speak to Lawmaster or go to... Um, uh, regain Gira's memories, mm. which might help. Wasn't it? Wasn't it to do with like you get if you if you have four of them and you can create the body of a titan and then with an elder box you can make that titan into a god? Yeah, that's right. Wait, where's this from? Transfer your mind into the mind of the titan. And then where, god. Where, where did we learn this? <laughs> Mike told us. No, I can't. Um, it was explained at the start of this art by Merith, I think, after you uh, after she was first in Warframe's custody. But Nerusa, that was Nerusa's plan, to use all the the, uh, the lodestones to make a body of a titan and then infuse his memory into it. And then then he'll have the power to be able to open and absorb the power of the Elder Box. Okay. So he wouldn't actually be a god, he would have just made a copy of himself a god. No, he would have put his soul into it. Oh, right. Like, okay. like a magic jar sort of spell. Maybe we should all go to Oristas, meet the Soul Master. Uh, Ta Taman um, comes in the room and she says, uh, "Well, if you're planning on going somewhere, I would uh, quite like to come along. I don't want to yeah. be I don't want to be cap captured by any uh, unfavorables." Sure, um, I, I would in, agree. With you. In the meantime, uh, these these stones. Uh, how should we carry these? I, I think perhaps dividing them amongst ourselves, just so that if any one of us is captured or killed or anything of the sort, no one can gain them all. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Well, it would be a nice. It would, Chaman says, um, "Well, it would would be nice to find somewhere where would it would be safe, some sort of pocket dimension to maybe place them in." I mean, um, sure. in Oristas, you know, Erin lives there, so maybe she could give some advice. I know she's not here at the moment, but you might be able to find something. In her tower, that might help. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure she wouldn't mind us taking it. Well, I think Zoltar and better there, so. We can speak to Zoltar about it. I think Eren would understand if it comes from Zoltar as an order. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it may, it may well be that whatever's there, we need her to be able to operate anyway. So, uh, we should at least see what our options are. I, I hope there's some way that we can maybe message her, because she has been away from quite a while now. It'd be nice to uh, see when she is planning on coming back, because there's been a lot she's missed out. Yes, uh, I, I suppose perhaps one of the... Um, uh, if Zoltar Sintarin has any other mages that have met her, they might be able to message her. Well, the issue is that she's away in Eshmalen, and magic... Takes, it has a lot of trouble going across such um, boundaries, but uh, if anyone knows how to contact her, and Bet will, I'm sure. Okay, let's go. Okay, so are you teleporting over to Oristas then? Yes, I should yeah, yeah. start drawing a circle. Okay. Well, don't we have the, the room with the, the thing already? Not that it's important. That's uh, not so how that's... teleporting works. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just like a, a target that we can okay. go to. Okay. Um, as you're drawing the circle on the ground, uh, Halcyon comes in with a tray of tea. He says, "Oh, leaving already? <laughs> oh, we can we can stay for some tea." <laughs> yeah. These are kind of expensive. Um. I know, no, yeah. I understand. I understand. Go off and do whatever it is. Um, about uh these, do you want me to look after these stones? Uh, oh, no, 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 it's no, okay, no, thanks. No, that's okay. Um, oh no, I'll, 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 you know, sock anyone who comes too close. 
I've I'll... got I've got my walking stick. Oh no, we couldn't trouble you with anything like that, and uh, I'll uh, pocket the the fire one. Okay. Well, it's fine. Um, I will uh, go off and uh, see how the fields are being tended to by my new hires. Nice. Don't be too mean to them. <laughs> she like <laughs> she she picks up an axe. And she's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Reels the, the hidden bulging muscles. Yeah. <laughs> they better be making me some money. Like a level 20 barbarian. And Henchian. Yeah. Um, so she says her goodbyes. The circle is finished and you're uh, whisked away on a magical journey um, to Orestes. Um, where you uh, arrive um, with a thud in Eren's temple. Uh, temple? Uh, in uh, her tower. Um, just as Bet uh, sits down with like a, a big meal on the table and she just jumps as uh you know you all just appear out of nowhere and she sort of falls sideways off her uh, chair <laughs> with all this food on her she gets up and says oh you give me some notice next time uh, sorry I'm not sure how we would do that <sighs> well uh, um uh, hello can i help you Bob, how are you? Um, <laughs> what, uh, um, <laughs> right. Well, don't really show your high here. charisma here. <laughs> don't pretend like you've come here just for a visit. There's clearly something up. You haven't visited me in over a year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes, that's probably true. Um, Well, uh, we were to she like possibly... just crosses, crosses her arms and just goes back to her dinner. Is there anything we could get, make a pocket dimension out of, or something that has access to a pocket dimension that you think Aaron would be okay with us using slash having? Oh well, well, there we go. At least someone's yeah. nice around here. <laughs> um. Uh, well, unfortunately, Aaron seemed to take take most of us uh, most most important stuff with her when she went to Eshmalin, so. Um. Yeah. As as you uh, as you see, Aaron sat down. Um, you're drawn over to uh, on the bookshelf. There's like a big um, sort of like what one of the shelves is sort of fashioned into a sort of like uh, wardrobe or something um, that has a big like golden lock on it. And she like catches you uh, looking over to, over at it, and she says. No, Erin won't let anyone in there. Not even What's me. What's in there? Oh, you're pushing it. <laughs> I was just... But, yeah, do you know what's in there? Well, I know what's in there. What is it? Um, There's some stuff in there that Erin really doesn't want anyone looking at. Is it, like, personal? Or is it, like, super magic? Magical stuff. What? I was... the reason That's part of the reason why I was kept, kept here. To look oh. after it. Well, that's just what we need, magical stuff. Right? Yes, but I've already had someone looking, look, coming after Eren's magical stuff today already, so... Who is that? Uh, some elf. Calls himself a lawmaster. Hmm. Did, this... they say, did, did they say why they were looking for her? Why? Looking for what? Mm. Eren? Hmm. Well, really looking for some sort of, I don't know, magical tuning fork or something. Thinks that Eren's got a big one. It goes to some special city. I mean, hasn't Zolta got, has a magical tuning fork, right? He does, yes. Um, but that's, but, I mean, that's where I sent off the elf. Uh, he's staying with uh, Zoltar for the night. Oh. Does it seem nice? Why well, you want to date him? Mm, maybe, probably <laughs> not though. Uh, uh, he seems a bit away oh, with oh, too long. Mm, a bit away with the fairies. Hmm. Is is that code? Well, it's code for I don't know. Not not being right in the head, maybe I don't know. <laughs> 
Um, well, look. I don't. I don't know. Um, uh, I. I don't think Erin would be very happy if I go around giving stuff to her whilst uh, I'm here looking after. And I know she. I know she trusts you all, and I know she cares about you, but I can't. Do you, do you have any way of contacting her, by any chance? Who have you been speaking to? I what gestured to Tarman. <laughs> <laughs> she says, oh, oh, um, well, Riaf Tarman. Um, but, um, well, uh, yeah, uh, go sp maybe go speak to Zolta. I, I can't do anything unless I'm ordered. I'm sorry, I, I made a vow. What about we order you? I, I don't think you have the power to do that. <clears throat> well, it's been nice seeing you. <laughs> yeah, like, you too. Text back down at her dinner. Just one moment. And kind of, um, uh, you reckon I motions to. I don't think he's met. No, yeah. She says, uh, sorry, do I know you? <clears throat> no. Okay. Sorry, I, I, cut, I can't get out there a bit. <laughs> that was weird. Um, no, the, the name is, is Gira. Um, I uh, I was just wondering, perhaps, if we could drop our particular items behind this door. What? In, 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 over there? Well, and he kind of points at the, uh, yeah, yeah. the door with a gold padlock. Um... House. How secure is that door? Well, Aaron finds it pretty secure, but I, you know, she puts her most valuable that, stuff in there. Is that the one where we found the big black orb? Was that in there? I think that was in Zoltar's and Farron's yeah, castle. Yeah, that, that? that was in Zoltar's and Farron's castle. Not here. <clears throat> How long has she been protecting? Um, have you been protecting this door? Well, I kind of protect everything in the tower. Um, good, uh, good fifteen years, I'd say. And is there anything behind that door that would warrant, I don't know, demons, intergalactic entities coming to try and take what's behind it? I mean, honestly, I don't know as much about magic as Aaron does. I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to say, but there are things in there that people want, and quite badly. We could always just leave them here. Would I we be think... able to put something in the room? Um. Well, again, I uh, uh make a persuasion check. I'll do it. Can I do it? Uh, uh yeah. Well, two of you can do it. Can he just do it with advantage? Yeah, you can do it with advantage. Yeah, nice. Nice! <laughs> she says, Oh, okay. Um, she gets up and she she uh, walks over to the side of the room and she gets her big 200 great sword out. And she sort of twists the handle and um, and takes the hilt off. And there's a the little like golden key um, hidden away in there. And she goes, You better not tell anyone else that I did this. Okay. A secret safe with us. Yeah. Well, she won't. She won't be back. She won't be gone for too long now. So. Have you heard anything from her? From Erin Kessery, yes, yes. Um, Lady Erin uh, sent me a letter. What? Not two months ago. Hmm. She said that uh, she is beginning to wrap up the last of her. Um, Inquiries into the uh, the Red Wizards of Eshmalan. Hmm. She um, is hoping to make the trip back soon. So whether that means she's already on her way or she'll be heading off soon, then uh, either way, not too long now. Um, she walks over to the uh, to the door and unlocks it. And uh, the shelf op opens up, and you um, see uh, on the inside the sort of it's sort of like a regular-looking wardrobe, but there's a couple of things in um, bags of holding in there. 
Um, there's well, there's a few bags of holding on the on the shelves. And she says, uh, "Right, what what is it that you want to put in here?" Uh, we have to keep that a secret. What from me? I think it's probably best that you don't know, because then you know you can't tell anyone. Right. Well, if they know that there's something in there anyway, it doesn't matter if I tell them. What they Anyone else want to weigh in here? I don't see the problem with it. <laughs> no, I'm, sure, I'm sure better you're aware of the other things in this cupboard. Is there anything that's in a... We, I suppose we could put it in the bag of holding, right? The bag of holding is a pocket dimension. No, uh, I, just, I just like to kind of take a look around, take a look at this room to kind of see how secure it is. Uh, make a make a perception check. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, it looks like just a regular sort of cupboard that leads into a sort of like on it's so on the bookshelf. Basically, there's this, there's this shelf that's sort of been repurposed into a into sort of a like a cupboard. And when once it's opened up, like a chest, it just looks like a, like it's wooden. It's not not it doesn't look like it's really held that well together. But there seems to be some sort of strong magical enchantment coming off it. So. Okay. So we could always just leave like one here. No. Hmm. Talon says, um, "Are we, are we sure we trust this place?" So, I mean. I don't, remember, this isn't the only. Aaron has lost this tower, had control over this tower before, quite easily. This is very true. It's not like it's very well defended. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> Bet just sort of crosses her arms again. Yeah, I, I, I think without at least Aaron here to kind of confirm the safety of anything in here, I, I think would be well advised to just start sticking such. Important items in it. Mm, there we are. I think it's. I think the safest place for them right now, until we find somewhere safer, is on us. Okay. Yeah. I mean, think about what happened last time. We entrusted uh, items to someone else. Yes. Involved. Well, that is exactly what I was thinking about. I'm sure. It's the same exact same situation. Hmm. Granted, I trust Aaron a little more than uh, <laughs> yeah. Pietro. Yeah. And I trust Bet more than Pietro as well. Yeah. Well, why thank you? <laughs> Such high praise. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, the food that Bet was eating was it hot food? Um. Yeah, it just looked like a sort of, like sort of roast of some sort. Uh, oh, by the way, Bet, um, don't don't forget to, uh, I'll just go over to her food and cast pressed digitation to reheat it. Bit just uh, it's getting cold while we do this, so uh. Just keep it warm. Thanks. Can't have your, uh, your dinner going cold on our account. Right, well, I'll tuck in. Okay, Gira hobbles over to the table and kind of sniffs at the food and goes, Are you sure you hated this, Scrimshaw? Um, I mean, a bit. It's not that he hates it enough. No, I don't think he has at all. And Gira kind of lightning kind of breaths the food. <laughs> 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 just oh, a little bit. Lightning oh. breath. So. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Beth, Beth just looks on in horror and says, She's uh, breathed all over her food. That's disgusting. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I did I did forget how exciting all of you being in my life was. <laughs> as uh, as she um, as she says that, there's a sort of like knocking at the door downstairs and she looks up and she goes, Okay, I wonder who that is. And she goes down, and uh, you, she, the, the, you hear the tower door like clunking open and uh, a bit of murmuring and, until she turns around and w begins walking up the stairs. And uh, after a few moments, walking in is Bet, followed by Zoltar and Farin, and this um, uh, this this elf who walks in. Um, would you like to describe your character, Zach? Is he here? Hello. 
<laughs> Can we describe it for actually, him? His character's actually a mute. So. Yeah. He's like miming at the moment. Okay, well, um, the elf walks in, uh, it's just looking around the room a little bit, just uh, stays by the door, um, quite quiet. Zoltar com comes in and says, Oh, the Clive Five, fantastic. Um, it has been a while. I did not, I didn't, did not know that you were going to be in Oristas today. No, we didn't know that we were going to be here either. Uh, well, how, how did you get here then? By surprise? Hello. Hello, oh, I'm, I'm back. The, oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, so Zach, would you like to describe your character who is currently walked in with Zoltar's and Faran? Sure. Um, the half elf in front of you is um, kind of has like this long undercut going on. Um, it red hair and a pair of green eyes. Um, he's quite pale, quite thin, but he's got this um, long kind of red, um, this kind of long red coat. Um, kind of like a tailcoat, just kind of embroidered with silver. And, um, oh. Carry on, Zach. And, um, he's got a rapier and a flute just kind of tied down. He is just kind of, just kind of, not so much taking in who's in the room as much as the room itself. It looks like he's obviously just looking for things. Yeah. I'm just kind of muttering to himself. Yeah, so um, Zoltar says, uh, This, um, uh, ev nice to see you, everyone. Um, this is um, the Lawmaster Shonok. Um, from, uh, where did you say you were from again? Elsewhere. Right. Um, he is uh, going to stay with me for a few days. Um, why does technical difficulties always happen a second? Let me stop playing. Uh, Don't know why Discord is down for them. It was happening earlier. How annoying! Well, maybe we should give it one minute, and then if they can't get back on, we switch. Is it? Is it? Does it transfer okay onto uh, onto the stream? Have we tested it before? Yeah, it's just really annoying because I can't do push to talk on that. No, I, I get that. I understand, but uh, yeah, I, I feel like uh, this is kind of important. So Zoom's a bit naff because you need to have a premium thing if you've had more than three people for 40 minutes. Sure. Nope. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think there's any oh. reason why this Discord shouldn't work. Richard? I think I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Cool. Hello. Tran, Tran you here? Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Tran. Cool. Okay. Um... Yeah, you missed uh, Zach's character introducing himself, but um, uh, Zoltar says, um, You should all... Uh, we should celebrate the occasion. It's been a while since I've had friends here. Um, well, why don't you have uh, dinner with me tonight? Oh, sure. Sounds nice. I mean, the last time uh, <laughs> you had dinner here, uh, I think um, uh, you were almost eaten by a group of doppelgangers, right? Here, <laughs> here is raises an eyebrow and kind of looks to rocks on. <laughs> uh, I wasn't here for that. <laughs> uh, uh, if I may, and kind of gear hobbles forward a little bit. Um, the name is Gera. It's nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gera. <clears throat> uh, I see and have heard that you've had a bit of a previous experience with uh, our friends here. Just to say that I am delighted to make you and um, Sarnak. It's Shonak. Um, how do I pronounce He's your name? He's not even Shonak. 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 Is it? Yeah. That's 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 close enough. 
And he's, he, he's not, like, even looking at you as he's saying anything. He's just kind of scanning the room. Is there a and reason? He, uh, and then he yeah. does just kind of look at you for a second. He's like, oh, you're a dragonborn. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And just ignores you again. Who is this this half elf? Um, he is um a lawmaster who came uh, asking for um a bit of advice, a bit of help with uh, finding Aaron. Um, and as a patron of the arts, I very much uh, never turn down someone in need, um, especially a, a, a bard. Ooh, you're a bard. Say something. Tell me a joke. What kind of bard no. are you? <laughs> the non-jokey kind. kind. Oh, great fun then. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows how to drink. No. Ah. Drinking. There you go, Roxxon. I, I, I didn't know that drinking was a bardic profession. Clearly you haven't known many bards. Well, um, that that will be correct, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't haven't known many bards for very long, at least. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Z Zolta says, uh, "So how about it? Um, you all uh, come to mind about um, sun about sunset? We uh, have a." Meal, catch up. It'll be uh, fantastic to hear about your recent uh, escapades. Yeah, sounds good. Sure. Yeah. And Taman Miznori. Oh, it has been a very long time. And Taman says, uh, "Yes, Alta. Um I hope you're doing well." And uh, he says, "Well, all the better that now. Uh, now you're here, of course." And she sort of <laughs> scowls at him <laughs> and he goes, well then uh, in that case I'll uh, I'll uh, see to it that my servants uh, cook up the finest meal that Orestes has offered um, a uh, group of adventurers and their uh, close um, acquaintances, so uh, I will see you soon yeah, thank you, what time? Uh, any time after sunset um, my dear okay um, as for, uh, you, Shunok, um, uh, yeah, you stay here. I, I, I have a lot of work to do before, um, before we hang out again. So, goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Bet, Bet looks up and says, he can't be in here. Aaron doesn't even know him. Well, I know of Aaron. That is not the same thing as knowing each other, though. <laughs> she is quite a well-known person. What what brings you in? What brings you to look for Aaron by any chance? Aaron has an object that um, I would quite enjoy having. What's that? It's not like her hand in marriage or something, right? Because. I don't think she's... Oh, gods, no. Okay. Gods, no. Why, why would I only marry her hand, as it is, anyway? That's, that's true. <laughs> is it? He's, he's not Eren's type. Yeah, yeah, I know. But maybe we can take this into the streets. If... Um, like <laughs> you're <laughs> asking for a fight there, Kira. <laughs> Kira has that old man's strength. He's got to be... <laughs> oh. Well, no, I was just saying it purely out of convenience for Bet. I imagine she's got some delicious food to be getting on with. Yes, and there is a uh, absolutely delicious seafood stall just uh, just on the coast. So uh, if you uh, all want to head out there and uh, leave me whilst okay. I finish my now rapidly cooling dinner. So well, why, why don't you go and heat it up for you? Uh, sure, well, I, can, I can do that if you wish. Um, but before we go... Um, I something that's been bothering me for a while. Um, did I leave a sword with you? Oh goodness! I knew you'd come back for that one day. <laughs> <laughs> you have not I, been paying it any child support all this time. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just you just up and abandoned it on my doorstep one day. 
sorry, I didn't realize it was such an obligation. Uh... Magical swords are not just for any anyone to, you know, just leave on people's doorsteps. But yes, I do have your sword of sharpness. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, would you like it? Um. Is it is it of is it of use to you? Well, yes, it's, yes, it is. <laughs> but uh, if, Avenger. <laughs> if you uh, if you would like to have it back, then I will not stop you. Okay, I mean, I mean by all means, use it use it for now. Um, I may require it at some point in future, but uh, yeah, it, it was more a case of just confirming that it is here. Oh yes, it's here. Thank you. That's it's it just that's just a load off my mind. I thought I may have left it somewhere in some bar or God knows where. Mm. Well, um, no, I, I'll make sure that it is returned to you uh, by the time you leave. As for uh, the rest of you, um, uh, I suppose I might see you at uh, Zoltar's then, at the, at the palace. Yeah, my, seems nice. It will be my pleasure. Make sure you dress your finest. Oh shit. Oh, I already am, can't you see? Come on, <laughs> gear hobbles out. <laughs> I do have some... Yeah, okay. I'll put on my fancy elf clothes that I brought, like, two <laughs> They're like moth own. Yeah. Like, moth eaten. Sorry, yeah. prestigitation them. Mending. I'm, sure yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's technically in a suit. I can't imagine it's in the best condition. Can't you just prestigitation it? Prestidigitation that, and mending. That's prestidigitation works. Mm. Well, maybe we should go and get some new clothes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Oristas is, is famous for its uh, fine clothing uh, establishments. But uh, I'm sure you could find somewhere that, oh. that sells uh, decent uh, clothes. Is that sarcasm? Well, it's not really a town where people... Uh, there, there's, there's not a very high, high percentage of middle class people here. Let's just say that. Hmm. That's right. I could just stick with my fancy elf clothes that I have. I used them for a disguise once. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, oh, I, I, well, the two monks, of course, you just uh, will be fine wearing your uh, uniform or your outfit or whatever it is you wear. Yeah. yeah there's no pressure for, for any of you to look the part. So Oh, yes. I, 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 no, I was just, I was going to just to beckon to, to Shonok that the, um, he should come with us as well. Sorry, probably doesn't. Ah. It's okay. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Shonok, why don't you go with the 5-5? Uh, five five? I think that if you are both looking for Eren or want, want Eren's support, uh, you might be able to learn a bit about each other. And you're sure you can't give me the fork now? Uh, we've been over this. I can't give you anything unless Erin explicitly approves it. I'm sure she'll very much be happy to help you out in your journey to write this book or whatever it is, but... Listen, I don't make the decisions for her. It's her stuff, if you understand. Fine. Fine. Sure enough, we do have a few questions for you, if you are obliged to answer them. We, in return, might be able to assist you to get in contact with Eren. I've been told, my colleagues here, and he points to kind of um, Scrimshaw and Morna, um, seem to have a rather close, intimate, not intimate, close relationship with Eren. Well, yeah. <laughs> what on earth have you gotten up to? Um, yes, sure. Um, I quite... I quite like talking. It's quite nice. You like talking, you say? It's, it's quite nice. Well, you get on splendidly with us. Come along. <laughs> As you're uh, walking down the stairs, um, Taman comes over to you, um, Roxon, and says, um, You know, uh, I don't think I've ever actually spoken to you before. <laughs> no, probably not. A lot of this is quite new to me. 
Uh, I mean, I've seen you around. Um, we'll share. Quite big. I don't think we've ever shared a uh, conversation. <laughs> she says, uh, she says, um, that's very humble, darling, but, uh, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to brag. Um, <laughs> I was just interested in uh, exactly what it is you're doing with the flag band. Helping out. I've grown to like them quite a bit. So I just sort of hang around with them now. Oh. And uh, do you have any plans? Uh, maybe when all this blows over, I'll go back home for a bit. Who knows? For a holiday? Uh, maybe. It's not really a holiday destination, but it's quite cold. Hmm. I was just interested because, and she sort of takes you off a little bit from trailing the back of the group as they start to walk down the main high street in Orestes. She says, she says weren't you um, one of uh, at, at the Emperor of Wolfram's personal guard for a very long time? I was. Yes. I just yeah, find... Me. Yeah. I just find how it's a bit suspicious that... Um, the moment that the Clive Five turn up, you uh, up, up and left everything to join them. Wolfram put me in their service as a reward for helping, and I just sort of stuck with it. Hmm. Well, um, I'm sure that you uh, would uh, be open about any uh, links that you might have with Wolfram from now on, would you not? I haven't spoken to Wolfram in quite a while. Hmm. Very well. She she like skips ahead, and uh, she she goes and like grab like grabs your arm, Mona, and sort of you walk arm in arm. Oh. She says, uh, "You have quite a group of friends." Yeah, they're all very individual, which is nice. It keeps it interesting. Yes, yes, of course. Um. Do you not think that there may be two individual? What does that mean? What? Two or individual? Like, what do you mean by two individual? The words together. <laughs> well, I mean that they... I mean, I have heard you arguing, and just, I heard you argue with Gothric a few times. Yeah. Yeah, Gothric and I did argue quite a lot, but he's not part of the group anymore. Is that why he's not part of the group anymore? Um, I wouldn't say it was 100% not the reason why he's not part of the group anymore. I think it's, it's more that um, we wanted him to make the decision to either stay or go, and he floundered around it for a long time. That is a hard decision, having responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was hard. Um, Do you think you'll see him again? Yeah, I'm sure we'll see him again. Um, if we ever have to go back to Oravisi. But I don't know. Mm. Or maybe we'd just go back and visit. Would you like to see him again? No. <laughs> well... well <laughs> <laughs> well, I've known you longer than any of uh, any of these people here, Mona. And I know how your uh, your bitterness can get the hold of you sometimes. It's true. Well, I just think that he just took a long time to make any decisions, and but I, I hope he's made the right one by staying with them. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I hope we've made the right decision as well. Yeah? What what decision are you talking about? Well, the Grace of the Crow won't be too happy when they find out that I took the uh, Lodestone of Water from them. That is very true, and hopefully they won't find out, right? <laughs> well, I didn't really hide my tracks, I just figured that they were all... They were all mind players, so... They were, well, they were, they, were, they were at least com compromised at that point. Yeah. Is this when you talked about them being compromised? Was it 
most people or just a few? Well, it's it's impossible it's impossible to tell, but I was getting um some very bad responses from a few people right up the chain, people higher than me. That is not good. <laughs> what kind of what kind of things were they doing that made you suspicious? Um, just I would I would catch them whispering to each other in, in dark rooms uh, when they thought no one was there. I would find them plotting and scheming amongst themselves. Um, I saw uh, I saw a couple of them, unfortunately, uh, kill a poor. Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Kill who? Uh, one of the new recruits. Oh my goodness! Why would they kill her? <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to know, but that was. That was it. When I uh, when I decided to leave. That's barbaric. Well, I I fear that the grace of the crow might not be a thing anymore. Hmm. That, that we are the last. We may, may very well be the last. But until we can somehow, uh, I'm I'm formulating a plan at the moment. I, I it's it's not ex entirely. Uh, well thought yet, but uh, maybe at some point we can try and capture one of the people that I think are corrupted and we can try and discover what has been done to them, if it is mind players. Yeah, I think I think that's a good plan. Do you know anyone who's operating around here at the moment? No, they, they will, they, we will have to go we'll have to go to the temple at some point. Okay. I think. That, that, will, that, will, that will be the most That'll be the best chance of us catch, catching someone, I think. Yeah, for sure. I've tried to get the word out as much as I can to other other groups outside the temple, but it, it's difficult to know whether they will either believe me or or get it at all. Are there any groups in Eshmalin? In Eshmalin? I'm not Eshmalin. In Cyrildanath? Sir, in Cyrildanath? Um... Well, the, the it's hard to keep in contact with those groups. Yeah. Um, I, I did hear something uh, quite recently about a group in Cyril Dinah has discovered uh, a way of getting across continents quickly. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Maybe that's what Erin's gone to look for? Oh no, she's in Eshmala, isn't she? Sildenath so, so is in Eshmala. Oh, right, yeah, it's a constant, right? So mm -hmm, yeah. Train. Okay. Yeah, is that maybe where Erin's gone? I don't know. Well, unless it's tied in with the Red Wizards somehow. Hmm. If it is, then I'm sure Erin would, uh, would be on top of it. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, um, this is the clothes shop. Mm -hmm. Rolls up to uh, what, yeah. what seems to be a fairly, fairly middle of the line. Uh, some nice stuff, not very much. Um, it's a bit, a, a bit pricey for what it is. Um, you know, sells all sorts of quite nice clothing. Nothing too fancy like you'd get though in MVL or Dancing Coast. Okay. Uh, does anyone want anything? Yes, I would like some fancy clothes, please. Okay, so you, you go in there, and what sort of thing are you looking for? Mm. Something that I could still move around in. Yeah, the um, the shopkeeper comes forward, uh, this sort of like hunched over old lady, whose hands are quite sort of calloused from knitting for years and so on. Um, she comes forward and says, you're looking for something that's... What did you say? Um, something a bit fancy. Oh, fancy. Well, everything here is fancy, my dear. Look at this. And she, like, pulls out this, like, 20-year-out-of-date sort of, like, pantsuit-type-looking thing. and Like the Hillary Clinton look. And she's like, hmm, that's fancy. Maybe, like... Some kind of dress that you can take off easily. What are you planning on doing in, in this dress? Um, having dinner. 
having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So no. So no white. Um. <laughs> yeah, it just means so that I could take it off quickly if I needed to fight someone <laughs> or run away. What ca- is this a regular occurrence for your dinners? Um. Yeah, actually, it is. Oh, very well. Um, yeah. Well, we have this. Uh, she like sort of. I, I don't have anything with the p- uh, quick release mechanism per se, but I do have things that button up on the back. That might help. Wouldn't it be buttoning up on the front would be easier? Well, you're the expert. <laughs> okay. Um, I- I'll have something that buttons up on the front and looks cute. And no, not cute, fancy. Oh, well, they go hand in hand, my dear. Um, she She brings out some, like... Kind of summer dress looking thing. Um, it looks nice. Uh, it's in whatever colour you want. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, yeah, that'd be like two gold. Cool. Um, I'll does get it, does anyone one. else want anything to dress themselves? You should all get something that makes you look fancier. Fancy. All of you. Yeah. Just gonna... Jonak's just gonna snap his finger, snap his fingers, and his um, coat just turns into a kind of like dress suit, kind of thing, like a dinner jacket, the like. And he just kind of just shrugs. I already yeah, look like fabulous. I don't need to wear anything else. Uh, you're wearing I... literal rags. No, no. <laughs> you're li- no, he's wearing literally nothing. Look at him. Those, he those, needs those, something those are the, I have those are the dress I garments have of his. Have you considered still, still. wearing a, a blazer? No. Okay. <laughs> what I about don't think you, you Crystal? Big enough. Are you gonna update your uh, your outfit? It's got a few holes and tears in here and there. Well, I suppose. <laughs> but these are the. Th- oh, I could wear some new trousers, I guess. You could are wear you sure some trousers. Shirt? No, no shirts. Like... Why not? I don't like things covering my chest. <laughs> do you have do you have sensitive nipples or something? Maybe. <laughs> we 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 sell cream for that. Uh, no, I've, I've tried every cream you can think of. Uh. Okay, I'll well, take a pair of trousers that are good for combat as well, because I'm only buying one pair. Well, um, I mean, we do have the uh, arena here that has a shop that sells things particularly good for combat. Okay. Yeah, I don't have, uh, I don't tend to make many fancy things that are also good for combat. But if you would like a a, a very nice um, sort of set of harem pants, I can give you those. It's okay, thank you. Oh, okay. No, I think I think that's a good idea. Terox will maybe get the fancy ones. We don't need the combat trousers. We need the trousers well, for having dinner. Gonna, what am I gonna? Well, what am I gonna wear when we go fighting? Yeah, but you can just wear what you're wearing now. When, we, when you go to fight, you right? You just said it was all holy and raggy. Now you've made me self-conscious. Okay, well, why don't you buy two? Why don't you buy two pet sets of trousers? A fancy kind you can keep in your bag for when we meet, like, kings and stuff. Or, um, and, and a non-fancy kind for when we are fighting. Fine. I'll okay. take the stupid fancy trousers. And Titus's beard, you all need a bit of a shower as well, I think. I... Take That's part. probably true. Tam- okay, Taman laughs and just sort of nod, nods. No. <laughs> so, what's, a, what's a shower? Shower? It's uh, like a waterfall. When you put holes in a bucket. Yeah. Ah, holes in a bucket. Right. Um, well, there's. I mean, Orisus has hot springs, so it has a. It has <gasps> baths. Peach episode. Okay, well, we could do this. We get some fancy clothes, and then we could all go and have a bath. Uh, what's wrong with my Treat natural aroma? You're the worst. <laughs> I. <You were. laughs> Taman speaks up and says, uh, "I've always had a question about Dragonborn." Yes. Do you shed your skin? Um. Yes. Why? Really? Well, all at once. No, of course not. It'd be ridiculous. It comes off in chunks over time. Ooh. When you get to my age, it's pati- particularly crispy. Oh. 
And Gira kind of like, see, I'll show you. And Gira kind of hobbles over to town and just kind of like goes. Oh, you know. it's like Dragon Dundra. Yes. Yeah, in some places, I've heard it's good for you. Shonak is hurriedly writing everything he's seeing here down. <laughs> Very crispy. And and where exactly is it that they find it very nutritious? Um, well, over in Vzelt, for one. That sounds like propaganda. Well, I must apologize. As you travel as much as I do, the names and faces blur into one. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure that some people actually find it quite delicious. Doesn't that mean that you wouldn't want to go to Vzelsk, otherwise there would be people trying to eat you? Well, no, it's... Um, maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I'm back. Welcome uh, back. I don't know what's going on with you, with you two. Oh. Yeah. Taman, Taman says, oh, well, uh, I mean, I've, I've eaten some strange things in my time, you know. Oh, Drink you don't it. eat it. Oh, really? No, you, you apply it on your skin. Oh. At least that's what the merchant told me, but I mean, thinking about it, he was quite a shady character. <sighs> yes, they tend to be. Well, I uh, don't know about the rest of you, but uh, a bath sounds like a good idea for me. Yeah, same. I'm sure you're going to get a suit. <laughs> Another suit. Uh, uh, yes, I swear, I'd check like, how damaged my current one is. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Okay. Ah, uh, it's middle of the road. It's, um... I mean, you've been on the road for a while. And so, just just natural stuff like being knocked over and you get a few holes in the... In the in you know, the being stabbed and, and five yeah. arrows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose I could probably do with a... Uh, maybe keep this as my travel suit and then have a, a separate one for... <laughs> Dinner, that that is a man who loves who, who loves his style. Has a travel suit. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's just what I wear. Have you ever worn anything else? Um, I once just wore the bottom half. Uh, okay. Well, does that count? No. Um, I, I meant like a bit of a style uh, makeover. Oh well, um, I mean, you're the stylist. What do you think would What do you think would suit me? Oh well, uh, we could get you some uh, chinos, some glasses. Oh, maybe one of those um, those those shirts with the the, the flames on them. <laughs> It'd be like Sky Fieri. <laughs> Frost, frosted tips. For sure. Oh yeah, you could get like frosted tips on your beard and hair and stuff. <laughs> you get frosted tips on your on your horns. Well, yeah, oh I mean, my I'll, god! I'll, I'm, I'm certainly no fashion guru. I've, I've basically just used the same suit my whole life. Um, how, how old is this? It's like she's gonna... she's like yeah she's just like looking at it. She's going, how old is this? It's got. Hang on here, in the pocket. It's got a receipt. It says 413. The year 413. Um, well, it, it is, uh, it, it has aged a little. Um, this is held together remarkably well. Uh, how, how long do suits normally last? Uh, depends how... Are you telling me it's less than 500 years? Usually. Normally. I suppose I should probably get this one touched up then, right? If it's held together that well, it must be of high quality. It might be magical. Oh. I'd never considered that. Hmm. Yes, secretly, all this time, you've had a really <laughs> powerful magic. <isn't> it? <laughs> she goes, well, I don't know much about that, but I can make you a suit that is a lot more fashionable. Uh, sure. How, uh, how much would that be? Uh, How long would that take? Uh, about an hour. Oh, wow, I mean, you work fast. Well, I, I'm not going to make it from scratch. I have 
I mean, oh, I've just taken your measurements. I know exactly what's going on. Oh, have you? Oh, that was that was discreet. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, well, you know, slight hand. Sure. Uh, how much would that be? Uh, I'll do it for five gold. Sure. Okay. So, um, for the sake of expediency, she measures you up, and for the, for the rest of you, if you if you want anything, um, you can get it from her quite easily. But uh, yeah, what what do you want to do after after she has uh, worked on on y'all? Uh, would, would, um, would uh, Scrimshaw know the the implications of someone looking for a, a fork? The implications. Yeah. Make an Arcana check. It's like Richard knows, but yeah. You know. No, you don't, you don't really know. Yeah, so because Richard. Un unless you unless you have the spell, you don't. You don't know. Yeah, I think I think it's on my spell. The warlock spell list. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Uh, you don't have yeah. it. Okay. <clears throat> are, are, are we going to go to the? Are, are we going to head to this bath? Now? Yes, let's go to the baths. Indeed, if I may, I have a few questions for you, Shonak, on the way. We hope not to take too much of your time. What is time if... Uh, yes, go on. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what a great question you ask. Oh, no. <laughs> what is time? So, so is, is philosophy your specialization then? No. Oh, no, I find it dreadfully boring. Mona, can you oh, no. Can you people on me, please? What was oh. that? What? Can you s just punch me, please? <laughs> I punch him. I punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is your interest? I like to... Well, um, my interest is in other places and their histories. Oh, you might have read my, um, my latest book, Fadad's Fabulous Field Guide to the Feywild. Well, I say, uh, I've dabbled in it. I... I, I, I don't suppose you know of the pertaining title, the, the Gate of Rada Alora. The Gate of Rada Alora. Hmm. Do I know anything about that? You know about Rada Alora. Why, of course. What? What do you? Why do you ask? Uh, if one was looking for such a gate, do you know how one might go about that? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. May I ask what this gate is to the layman? Uh, so, uh, we believe it is where Aaron is. Ah, or at least course. is a way to get to where he is. Zach, if you look at your WhatsApp, remember I told you some stuff about Rada Alora. Oh, yeah. I feel so. This is the, the problem with being a very knowledgeable guy. <laughs> like yeah. I need my dictionary on hand. Just... <clears throat> As well, always, well have, always have to occasionally just hand your mouth over to the DM. We... Sorry to, to jump, jump in, Scrimshaw, but I, I thought we, we did have a few questions to ask. Shanak, and that was one of them. But we had a few more. Um, if, if it's okay, I will say the oh. first, and then if anyone else had any more questions. Uh, it, it was it was just, you know, the, the subject of the, the Feywilds came up and thought it was pertinent. How do you... Oh, I see, planes. Indeed, indeed. Well, I'm glad to hear you're a fellow enthusiast of planes and, and the histories of the world. Yes, yeah, so they, 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 they fly by and they have engines in them. I'm sorry, I have to. June. Um, yes. Well, what he said. Peculiar gentleman. The elemental plane of jet engines. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we were interested in um, a, f a few things. 
primarily of which we've been haunted by a series of visions of late, um, telling us of the fate of a, of a pretty horrible mess that would befall um, all of Erd. Um, and we, we were looking for some information on a few things that would hopefully give us a chance to stem the tide and, and take on the mantle of responsibility. Informally, at least. So anything on any any information you have on the purpose of lodestones, or if you know anything about, I'm just going to scroll up quick. Um, uh, Arakatar and the Spider Plains. Oh, you don't want to go there. That's a terrible place. Awful, awful, just well, terrible. Uh, I don't have a choice. I hope you understand. I've been given a mission by a faithful servant of the Tempest. Um, and we believe that it might unlock memories for me that will aid in our mission to save the world. Well, I pity the world because it's impossible to get into there. Impossible? Pretty much, yeah. It's surrounded by cultists. And not only that, it's just, it's just god-awful. Hmm. Well, I, I have to disagree with your statement. I think it's entirely possible and we'll do it perfectly fine. And after all, the storm has wielded. It. Yeah, it, 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 it does seem there's a slight difference between protected and Im, impossible, impossible to pass. <laughs> yes, well, clearly you haven't met the cultists. Have you? No. And I don't plan on doing so. What's so special about these cultists? They're... Quite frankly... All I know is they're awful, awful, awful people. And everyone would do far better if they just... were moving in the opposite direction. I mean... That sounds like it describes people that uh, we've run into before and... We're still here, and many of them aren't. Yeah, you've you've done a lot, haven't you? Um, so of us. Oh, I've I've heard a lot about you. Actually, I was hoping of meeting you at some point. Is that why you're writing about us in your book? No, no, I just like to write down my general observations. I don't know if you're interesting enough for a book. Um, maybe a, maybe a chapter or so. It's In... going to be a very big book. Hmm. Do you know of any hammer in Arakatar? I don't know of particulars. People tend not to go there, and so they tend not to tell other people of what's in there because they don't want to go there. Hmm. Well, it might be news to you that it seems the spider, I'm not quite sure what that means, has begun worshipping a hammer. A hammer of which, that I believe, has a lot of power. Hmm. Well... No, I can't really... I can't really nail it down as to the purpose of this, but, um... Hammers are powerful, I guess. Hmm. People have worshipped weirder things. One time I met a man who worshipped the bath. Well, it seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Yeah, the bath's pretty nice. Was it, was it the... the... A, a specific bath? The the act yes, of bathing? Yes, just a, a, a specific bath. The, that he's the, never there even a person seen. in the bath? It was the idea the... of a specific bath in a specific place. It was He was a very peculiar gentleman. Huh. Hmm. If I may... Um, kind of, you know, just kind of hears the silence. They kind of just subsists after that. Kind of... 
You don't happen to know much about, um, oh, I just had the word up on my screen. Uh, stone shift. Stone shift. Yeah, it's intersecting kind of, uh, teleportation pads between continents. And use ley lines. You don't happen to know the location of the, of, of the stone shift in North Aid, do you? Not exactly. I know of other people who may know about stone shifts, but they're not here. Where could we find them? That... In a place that strangers generally aren't allowed. I'll... I'm sorry, I can't necess I can't exactly trust you enough as of right now as to reveal this location. Well, if I can impress upon you how important this is, would you perhaps reconsider? No. Can I do a persuasion check on that? No. If, if he's not <laughs> if he's not gonna be convinced by that, then no. Okay. Oh, you are certainly a tough gentleman crack. I certainly hope you don't plan on cracking me. That would be most painful. <laughs> cracking. Did anyone else have any questions for the half-elf? I have a question. Yes? How long have you been in this plane? Tamman oh, Tam asks, uh... like, really, like, by like, scanning you up and down with her eyes. Not very long. Five years, perhaps? Mm, I can tell. Wait, that, that, I don't know, what, what, what's more prudent? How, one, how can you tell? And two, a, a plane? From somewhere else? Another plane? Yes, it's written all over his face. He's from the Feywild. That... That's rather rude. You don't... You don't, like... <laughs> Tell other people's secrets without their permission. That's rather rude. I'm so sorry. Sorry, how can you tell that? Well, uh, when you uh, worship... Uh... Well, when you worship a group, you know... When, when, you, when you're part of a temple that uh, has... Ties with various planes, uh, you, you can see through them quite easily. And uh, and he's got he's got the accent. Um, what is? I, I was under the impression that those in, those from the Feywild were fairies and such. There's a lot of different forms of fairy. So, are, are you, you a fae? No. You're an elf. I'm a half elf. A half elf. Half elf, half fairy? What kind of elf? That's a deeply personal question. Is it? <laughs> there are elves that live in the Feywild. They are just. I believe they're called. Is is returning home so the reason you're looking for Aaron? Oh no no no! I don't I don't plan on returning just yet. Then what is it you need this this fork? This for? Well, I'm an author. I'm I compose stories and tales and I tell of the great histories of many places and of course I quite imagine there are lots of historians here that know of what happens in Orthade but do they know about the many goings on in the Shadowfell or in the Hells perhaps? I mean sure you have religious texts and everything but nothing quite like a genuine telling of someone who traveled there and had dinner with the 
arch fiends there themselves. Hmm. I, I don't suppose you speak abyssal. I don't, but I plan on learning. I was going to say I could get you an interview with a Balgura. That would be fabulous. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I mean, uh, they they speak abyssal, I believe. So I communication might be a problem. Do you speak abyssal? Could you possibly teach I, me a few words? I do not speak abyssal, unfortunately. Ah, uh, such a shame. Yeah, we we had a a friend at one point that could uh could translate, but uh, uh he's no longer with us at this point. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. May I just ask a silly question? I, 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 All I, questions I, are silly in the right mindset. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Well, I, I've not been around for particularly long. Age deceptive. Well, what is the Feywild? It's the best place ever. It's this realm. <laughs> it's this realm full of delights. There are places where age and hunger don't exist. Many people travel there from here for a night of revelry only to return a hundred years later. It's a place where there is no defined natural law. It's quite chaotic. Well, sounds terrifying. Oh, it's exhilarating. <clears throat> <clears throat> what better place to compose art and sing and write books if when the whole landscape in front of you is always changing, everyone is always changing, everyone's moods, everyone's experiences, sometimes even names and, all, and entire identities just shift. If it's so great, then why slum it in this plane? Well, because sometimes nice is just boring. That, that is true. Terman says, you know, oh, I, yeah, I don't know. The Feywild was never that great when I went. Oh, what was your well, experience, Tarman? Well, I'm a shadow monk. Not really the place for me. Uh, well, was there nights of revelry and changing identities and you know, bountiful feast? Sure, you could call it that. Hmm. Of course, it also depends on finding the right lord of the Fae to dine with. But, you know, that's what my book's for. Is the book that you're writing right now? Oh, I've already written the book on the Feywild. I'm writing a book on, on Orthaid as of right now. Cool. Is that what you need your tuning fork for? The book? I would like the tuning fork to travel to other places and write about them. Oh, right. Okay. I'm with you. Uh, am, I, am I missing something again here? Does it sends it... to Roxon. <laughs> do, do, do you know what they're talking about? Uh, does it help you travel on the ley lines? <laughs> it helps me. It's part of a special ritual that enables you to go from one plane to another. How did you get to this plane? Well, it's a lot easier to get into the Feywild and out of the Feywild than it is to go to other planes. Oh. How curious a tuning fork enables you to travel between planes. It seems preposterous. Well, you know, you cast fireball with sulfur and batshit. Hmm. I suppose it is a very strange world we live in. Strange multiverse. Well, all I know is that the universe is one, and, the, and 
and that in the end we all just get recycled into the process. Sure. Sure. And he just kind of like looks behind him to the others and just goes, He's crazy! I'd prefer senile. <laughs> senile it is! <laughs> How old are you, Shanak? As old as my tongue, but a little older than my teeth. <laughs> Am I supposed to know what that means? I... Well, it's right there in the saying. Very well. Well, I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna go have a bath. Yeah, let's go to the baths. Okay. So you arrive at the um, the old uh, old the sort of structure by the uh, by the sort of Colosseum. Um, a few uh, rocks um, have cracks in them that this water sort of bubbles out of, and they've built a bath around it. So there's this like large group of uh, boulders that is heating up water. Surrounded by a nice, um, you know, marble bath floor. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of people in there, but not not too many. It's quite quiet. Um, uh, it's a uh, two silver entry fee. Okay. Tenman says, uh, oh, "Everything costs money these days." Hmm. Well, we're in a reasonable price. They've got to live, haven't they? Hmm. Uh, and then she just cannonballs into the water. <laughs> <laughs> With her clothes? No, I guess so. I no, she, she, no, she stripped off before the time, but she splashes in the water, just begins to find somewhere comfortable. Hello. Is it is it Met. separated, Hello. or is it just all together? Uh, no, it's all together. All right, I'm sure we'll just take everything off, put it to the side, and then just, like, walk into the pool and sit on the bottom. <laughs> Rogson is going to... <laughs> Take off his clothes and cannonball into the water as yeah. well. Oh, oh, the water yeah, jump in. It's like this huge wave. <laughs> Gera sits by the side. Oh. Shonok's just gonna find a corner and just kind of just like survey what chaotic mess is just unfolding before him, trying to gauge personalities and the like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also gonna join. Jump right in. It'll be fun. Oh, okay. Like that, like. Yeah. So uh, spl yeah, splashing away. It's the first time in quite a while you've uh, you've had a, a nice, warm, comfortable bath. Um, yeah, it, it feels it feels nice. Um, it's not too cold. It's it's just about right temperature wise. Um, you know, just a little little hot. And um, yeah, so you spend spend a little while there. Uh, what, um, Ta Taman is sort of just uh, looking occasionally off at Shonak, sort of going, "I, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever met someone from the Feywild who I've trusted." Notice, do not trust him. I don't trust many people. Yeah, well, I mean, that just sounds like a very sad experience. I think, uh, I think that's where you get get it from. There, you sort of got that paranoia from me. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, my eyes are watering. I have no oh, I'm just, just going to go to the bathroom. Are you, are you related as well as Arben? Am I what? You and the mourner, I believe her name is. Are you related at all? Do we look related? I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of people who don't look related and really are. It's quite strange. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, but I did raise Mona from childhood. Oh. oh. Yes, I, I raised Mona from, uh, from a young five-year-old girl. Freshly orphaned. <laughs> Freshly orphaned. <laughs> 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 Uh, hot, hot off the parent deck, <laughs> Hot out the oven. Hot in the air. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, she says, uh, yes, uh, me and Mona have been, uh, yeah, close for a while. But, uh, I brought her up in, um, in an organization which, well, now it feels like I'm beginning to lose. Oh, Nothing well, lasts. Losing's but... part of the fun, isn't it? No. No, it's not. I don't feel well, yeah. that way. Well, if you're not prepared to lose, then why begin at all? Well, we didn't have much what? of a choice, to be fair. Yeah, you heard it. I heard it. I was five. <laughs> I was the same age when I, when I got started. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And so, if the uh, great variety of choices when I was five. Yes, and they all at five. I was told if I was to be raised as a mighty knight or a poet, and I chose the latter. Hmm. Wow! Fortunately for our eardrums, all along. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? Uh, why was it that you didn't decide to choose the? chivalrous life of a knight because there's only so many ways you can stab someone i don't know i know quite a few ways you can stab someone there are plenty of ways you can stab people yes but Neck, there's a finite leg, number of ways ankle shoulder <laughs> head. i think i think the math maths is quite lost on uh, old Roxon. yeah any, anything about I... 10 is practically infinite Yes, well, there are multiple different places, and there are so many more places than there are ways to kill someone, and what about killing quite honestly, in any place. Again, you're underestimating the amount of ways you can kill a person. Also, I fear if I was to become a knight, I'd have my mouth sewn shut, but there you are. That would be a favour for everyone. Why would you have your mouth sewn shut if you're a knight? Well, it's just part of how it is. Where do you come from? The Feywild, haven't yeah, you been listening? Why do they need knights in the Feywild? I thought it was all parties. Well, it's, it's, parties. it's, all, the clo it's all the closest followers of of my lord, really. They all... The, the, the closest followers just tend to have their mouths sewn shut. It's just how it is. Well, yeah, seems like heaven. Oh. Well, we... you know, some people quite enjoy not being able to speak. It's all about, it is all about noise, you know, if you're, it's all about respecting noise and its power. Like, like Shai? You know Shai? Oh, yeah. 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 You know Shai? Oh, I know Shai. Shai's a very old friend. I guess you could say same. In fact, I have most of my... Uh, my... artistic talents and gifts just from her. She's magnificent. How, how, did, how did she tell... How did she tell you about them if she can't speak? Um, oh, he didn't. She didn't tell me. Um, in fact, she showed me. And with that, he sticks his tongue out. And you see that in the tongue, there is just traces of, like, runes just kind of scarred and burnt in. And just kind of inlaid with gold in places. Ew. Hmm. Seems like what, it would hurt. What language does oh, it hurt? Oh, it's it's all in Sylvan. Okay. Oh, it's um, it hurt like a motherfucker, as people like to say. First, she tore out my tongue and then replaced it. Huh? Why? Well, I helped her. I helped out um a little animal. The animal told someone else. And that someone else asked Shai to give me a reward. I asked for a tongue that could rival anyone else's. And so she gave me one. A, 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 what, <laughs> what skills does this tongue have? Well, it, 
allows me to turn words and music into magic. Right. We had a friend so, who so we, could do we, that. Yeah, we... Yeah, we had we had a friend who could do that, and he didn't. He didn't have need a... a special tongue. Yeah, he had his own tongue as well. He just as I had know. talent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he was very talented. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was extremely and also, talented, and also quite handsome. <laughs> he, was, he was very good with his spell slots. Yes. <laughs> his spell management. Well. Clearly, his tongue wouldn't have been good, as good as mine. Well, maybe we can um, go pay him a visit. You can have a tongue off. Uh. <laughs> you you, you, you that... desire to watch us battle with our tongues? May I ask, uh... isn't that just kissing? I, think I mean, would be I kissing. thought that's, I thought like people that's people what we were talking about kiss? beforehand. Scrimshaw oh, also has an God. interesting tongue. Look, his whole body is made of wood apart from his tongue. Isn't that weird? Maybe you two should I... have a tongue off. That is weird. That... That... I think we've that found someone Scrimshaw. to rival your tongue. <laughs> Are we going to have a tongue battle, good sir? <laughs> I, I... I don't see why we would. I make no I make no claims about my own tongue. Mm, modest. The best warriors tend to be. Yes, and absolutely no one from the Fey Feywild tends to be. Well, you know. I never said we were good warriors. Mm. <laughs> Tamron's well, just like not all of us. staring you down. Is, uh, is Gira still not in the water? Oh, no, no, it's he bad. Is. It's a bad idea. Oh, come on, Gira. Come it's, uh, I, Pick him up! I, I promise him you, it's oh, a really he's bad he's gonna, idea. He's gonna grab you. Oh, no, oh, put me down, you oh. oaf. I'll put you on my back. <laughs> it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like oh. Pokemon when at Pikachu, like, zaps everyone. <laughs> oh. on, you're really not gonna like what happens if I end up in this water for a long time. What did you inflate? Oh god, I don't leave. Will your, will your scales come off? I... <laughs> well, no, not quite. Can you please put me down? Oh, will you fine. melt? Do you melt? <laughs> no, I just get a chilly and sneeze every now and again, and in the body of water, and the electricity, and, and, and well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Oh, fine. You're gonna zap us. Well, I must strictly say that it is only by accident, if at all. Well, maybe we could get out and you could get in after us. Hmm. You do smell quite bad. Mm-hmm. Um, if you insist. Yes. <laughs> well, well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to continue to stay in here. This, this warm water is very needed right now. Well, I, 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 I do feel a little bit uncomfortable being nude around other people. Well, we've all been naked around each other before. This is so. Like, yeah, so I've only I've just met you and I've taken off all of my clothes. That is. <laughs> I've just realized how awkward that is. <laughs> I, I, I have Maybe that's normal in the Fey world. Yeah, I, I thought that was positively just the thing you do. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Forget I said anything. The Fey world's a very positive. The Fey world's very yeah, body a positive. positive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if nothing else. <clears throat> Have you ever been to the Shadowfell, Shanak? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not as of, not as of yet. Why not? I don't like it. <laughs> uh, well, that makes sense. It's drab and it's boring. There's no music. It's all pain and suffering. And everyone there is constantly miserable and edgy as all hells. Is there anything like the negative energy plane? Mm, no, nah, they, they, they lie off a little bit. Off oh. each other. The negative energy plane is the source of Shadowfell to the Shadowfell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we met a um, well, say met a, 
I so has met a, a creature from there. From the negative energy plane or the shadow fell? Uh, the negative energy plane, I believe. Mm. Was he giving off bad vibes and just... Oh, yes, very oh, bad right. vibes. It's very negative. The Not death, vibe. deathly vibes. <laughs> very, very negative person, yeah, yeah. Yes, could really kill the energy in a room. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, sexual <laughs> vampire, isn't it? Um, oh. Tamron says, well, the reason I ask is because... Um, I heard that you, Feywild lot, would be too scared to go to the Shadowfell. I was just wondering if there was anyone who had actually gone. <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid of that. I'm just... I just don't want to. Sure. I I understand. Just You just don't want to. It, it, there totally oh. wouldn't be any great stories to write about in the Shadowfell. Oh, I plan on going there eventually. I just don't want to go there. Taman gets up and begins rummaging through her um, robes, and she says, Well then, I suppose you wouldn't want this, and she holds up a tuning fork. He just kind of... She'll like just kind of stares at the tuning fork, at Taman, then at the tuning fork, then back at Taman. You're cruel. What do you want for it? You're going to help this lot do what they want to do, and then I'll give it to you. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Wow, that was the accepted that with a very open ended um very open ended obligation on your part. And if you betray any of them, I will uh, take your head to Hakul personally. Not if I don't take it first. Who's who is Hakul? Is he Related to her uncool, or I wouldn't make that joke yeah, around no. him if I were you. That 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 would li very likely result in your death. Her cool's my lord. He's 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 a little bit scary. A little bit scary. I thought the Fey world was all daisies and smiles. <laughs> oh, I, I said it was. I said it was fun and the best place to live. I didn't say that it was entirely safe. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I have some good news for you, Sharnak. Um, Sharnak, sorry. Um, it seems you might be getting to meet those cultists after all. <laughs> the things I do for forks. A question: If someone tried to banish you with like the spell that does it, would you stay in the Fey world? Well, I was born here. Oh, okay, so you would come back here. Did you get yes. banished from the Fey world, and that's why you're here? No, no, I left of my own volition. Yeah, sure you did. Oh no, I, 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 I did. I wanted to write books. Write books in the Feywild. I wanted to write books of other places that aren't the Feywild. You don't really learn much about other places from just secondhand material. Then you're just repeating babble over and over and over again. You write nothing new, and it's a boring, boring experience. He couldn't match up to the writers in the Feywild. And that's the impression I'm getting. I cast fireball. No, <laughs> <laughs> just immediately gets Land. smothered by the water. <laughs> it just looks like a big fart in the water. <laughs> um. All right. So should we take a break then, and then we'll mm -hmm. come back in sure. a few minutes? Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah.
All right, I've unmuted the stream. So yeah, just before uh, we finished, uh, before the break, um, we uh, the Clive Five and Tarman and their new uh, pickup, um, Shonok, uh, were spending some time in the baths, um, getting to know one another, um, relaxing for a bit before um, Soltars and Farin's dinner for the night. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, drink. Is that a good idea? Yeah, there'll be plenty of time for that, uh, Roxxon. When they're uh, out of all time. Drink the bar. Shonok. Shonok is gonna... <laughs> Shonok is gonna sit down and just kind of ask, So, I know you all go on these wonderful adventures. I've heard quite a few stories. What... Which ones stand out to you? Which stories would you like told most of all? Uh, Roxon, I think this one's for you. Well, it was before I met the Clive Five. Now, oh, you see, an origin story. I like it. I like it. You see, there were these four mammoths. <laughs> four mammoths, really? Four mammoths. Four fully grown mammoths. <laughs> I was around <laughs> Scrimshaw if you could, you know, do the thing. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, my Fantasmal own, killer. <laughs> uh, <if> any, <laughs> anyone, I don't know if anyone's got any, uh, any music that could go well with my story. Or... I could try and uh, sing. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, perfect, <laughs> Mourner, thank you. There I was, surrounded. Dun, dun, These dun, mammoths, dun, dun, dun. blood thirsty, blood dun, dun, down their tusks, clearly. Dun, dun, dun. I've been on a rampage. I knew what I had to do. They were close to my homeland. I had to take them down. I'm making the mammoths look as cute as possible, by the way. They're like chib chibi mammoths. They're like suddenly they charge. I have to take action. I draw my axe. I pick a target, and as it comes there's, to me, I sweep at its legs. There's, it there's, there's little speech bubbles in the illusion that just says like, "Ah, oh, a friend. Let me come give you a hug." <laughs> I take the legs straight off. It falls to the ground, tripping the other mammoth coming in the other direction. I then turn, take my axe, and sever the other mammoth's head straight from his body. One cut, clean as a Two mammoths left. What do I do, you say? Well, as one comes to me, I grab its trunk. Then I throw it to the ground with all my might. And then I put my, I take my fist and I ram it through its eye and pull out its brain. Wow. And then I show it to the other mammoth and it runs. End of story. Wow. Amazing. That, an old, an old granny who's like, who's like swimming past is just like very casually swimming by beside you all. <laughs> and, and she just looks really old and she's going, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Yeah. That's a pretty cool story, right, guys? Mm -hmm. That yeah, was a very good story. Amazing. Very, very real. Amazing. <laughs> yes, and it happened. Yes. When? When? Did, when, when? How? What? Oh, yeah. great story. About, yeah, it was about ten years before this all happened. Yeah, I mean, how don't... old are you? It's none of your business, thank you. We have, you know, collectively killed Dracovich. But the mammoths are the best story. Yeah. Right, Roxxon? You killed a Dracolich. Look, I don't want to talk about the Dracolich. I mean, the Dracolich was just fight one of the day. Mm. Oh, wow. we could tell him how I tore Badran's head straight from his body with my bare hands. Yeah, it was very what? heroic. Uh, he's a, how he's about a stories of the rest of you? Scrimshaw, how about you? Uh, well, there was that one time where, um, so, um, picture this, you're, you're in a tower, and there's a cobweb that's right at the top, and it, it, it's just in the corner where you just can't really get to it with the broom or anything, so you have to, you have to get up, like, uh huh. you have to, like, climb, you have to scale the wall, and your hands Ooh. aren't very strong, you know, you're not very dexterous, so it, it's a bit difficult. Um, and, well, over the course of uh, 80 years, um, uh, I learned how to walk up walls and eventually managed to clean that cobweb. 
You can walk up walls. Uh, not anymore. I forgot. Oh. You know, you don't really have the have the drama as Roxon, but I do definitely prefer your story. Wow. Don't you don't want to start a fight? <laughs> <laughs> My story had suspense, action. And great music, compliment. Yeah, and great yes, music. Yes, but no compliment. character growth. Well, sorry, the mammoths weren't exactly standing, sitting around for that. <laughs> no, they were coming at me. They said, come and... back after you have slain your rival. <laughs> and then they <laughs> shall fight. <laughs> there was that one time we bore witness to the, uh, the annihilation of a whole civilization. Ah, uh, well, yeah, that was that. Uh, that sounds pleasant. Are you referring to what happened in Karnia, or...? Yeah. Or the, the world thing? No, uh, Karnia. I, I thought you meant the world thing. No, I refer to Karnia. Are you familiar with the story? Well, you filled me in about it. No, no, no. He's pointing towards, um... Eshonite. I'm not... I heard something went down, and Neruzatar was gone. I don't mm. know who Neruzatar is, or why he's such a big deal, but... It's like big, he fucked off. Big lich man. Enslaved, big enslaved big lots of people. Man. Made them, like, took their lives and stuff. He was the bearer of the mantle of responsibility. A title befallen to an individual whose key job it is to protect the denizens of this world or con continent i guess continent. um he became embittered and bored i might almost say in his charge and as a retaliatory measure and petrified the whole kingdom of carnia we were well, he sounds like a dick uh, it's a complicated complicated tree creature. We were among the first creatures to walk through the petrified remains of his frozen kingdom. It was quite a sight, and I think I will never forget. That does sound rough. Yes. I would prefer not to dwell too much on it, and how much happier memory is. But they are laced within tales and tapestries of sad tidings, despair, and loss. Whatever happened to that Esten Uh, he's... Not sure where he is now. Esten Jafaris. He's the one from Kania, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I think he's... He's hanging out with a wolf from now, right? No. And I don't know. You said mm -hmm. before, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I... I don't know. Eston is planning to go to Lavar and to participate uh, at, at Patrician? Partition? The, the Arcanum? Uh, to hunt down Aruzatar. He said he would keep in touch with us in the event anything came up. He said he was going somewhere first, but uh, how, 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 hold on, may I ask how you know this? No, this is just me. This is me saying that. Oh, right. Taman okay. says, uh, "Well, the reason I ask is because um, he seems like someone who would actually be of a lot of use in, in any future conflicts with Neruzza." Yeah, I should do he definitely would be. He knows him pretty well. Now Merith has been executed. As far as I'm aware, though, Neruzatar is gone. Do you seem to think he's going to come back? Yeah, I think he's going to come back. I, I, I don't trust people who, uh, who have the power to do evil stuff and say they won't when they have done evil stuff in the past. Yeah. And I very much would like to get my hands on him. 
Yes, I would also like to. Why would you have your hands on him? Wouldn't you? I don't know. Can't strangle someone if you don't fit your hands on them. Nah, strangling someone's way more fun. I mean, (laughs) not fun. Um, I mean, it depends on what you're stabbing them with and where you're stabbing them. That's true. Yeah, the issue with liches is that you have to make sure that their departure is managed. Uh, Otherwise, they will their spirit goes away and appears back at their phylactery. Mm Mhm. Oh well, that just sounds terrible. This isn't the best. Yeah, it's not ideal. Which is why liches are our most, oh, in in the grace of the crow, are our most uh, infamous enemies. Mm-hmm. So, Morna never really talks much about the Grace of the Crow. That's because it's supposed to be a bit of a secret. <laughs> Tarman, do you feel comfortable divulging some information to us about the Grace of the Crow? I'm just a well, curious onlooker. Well, yes, Tarman, would you like to tell me, a complete stranger, about your secret organization of assassins? <laughs> well, no. you know what would happen to you, uh, at least if you told anyone, but... Um, as things currently stand, I'm not sure there is a Grace of the Crow at all anymore. Well, it lives on with the two of you, surely. Yeah. Uh, yes, but... That's, that's a strange name, Grace of the Crow. Is there, Does your organization worship some form of crow imagery? Is there like a founding tale featuring a bird of carrion, perhaps? Hmm. You just really like crows, I think. That's yeah, valid. Like, Crows yeah. are pretty cool. Crows. They are. It's Crows a tra- well. it's a translation. It's what the translation uh. translates to in common. From what? From um Cyril. I see. Yeah, because that's where it's from. You know? I don't really have anything to add. <laughs> Me neither. If right. you've got any questions, you can ask. To Zoltars, I think. Uh, I've had uh, enough of my soaking. Yeah, uh, I'm excited yes, to put these, these fresh new threads on, guys. Yeah, she, uh, Taman goes off and puts a robe on. Dries herself off. Just uh, sat on a bench outside when uh, the rest of you meet up with her later. Right. Suit up. I snap my fingers and I'm in fancier clothing. I, I used to know how to do that. Um, not sure. You seem so used to know how to do a lot of things, Grimshaw. <laughs> yeah, your memory's my memory. not the best, is it? I, I mean, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, I guess when I can do things, I don't really know how I do them particularly well. So when I no longer know how to do them, it's I don't, it's it's a strange um it's a strange experience. Do you need to remember how to speak? Sometimes. Aren't you worried I... that um one one time where you really need to cast a spell, you won't be able to cast it? Oh yes, all the time. It keeps me up at night. That's why I don't bother with spells. Well, you got a sword instead, right? Sorry, who? You. You got a sword, so if you can't cast well, spells, can't you just use I, that? I suppose, yeah. I mean, I, there's what if you forget how to use a sword? Just, there's also the chance that it would just not appear if I try and conjure it. Hmm. Has that ever happened before? I don't think so. Well, let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah. I mean, I've been able to do that for my whole life. Magical so. magical powers aren't freely given. They tend to have some sort of price. And if you don't know exactly this, how you're doing it... This is it, very true. I mean, how can you be sure that you're, the, the price you're paying isn't a great one? Ooh, this sounds like a wonderful story to tell. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm... Um... Equally Certainly sure. something you would love to know, though, right? You might be trading off days of your life. Well, 
I mean, you know, I've lived a long life. Yes, but you're trading off days of it. Who knows? You c because of the cumulative price, you could die tomorrow for every spell you cast. <laughs> well, that's another thing you're going to keep him up at night. Mm, he kind of keeps up at night every night, so it's just yeah, one little thing. It's kind of weird, actually. M maybe if I would, if it weren't for this, all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Crippling anxiety. <laughs> yeah, that ex <laughs> existential dread. <laughs> Scrooge is like, how long do I have left? <laughs> Can't waste it sleeping. Way. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I hope that nothing happens that means that your link to whatever whatever is giving you power is damaged somehow. As do I. Is that another thing that'll uh, keep you up at night? <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend this conversation didn't happen and keep. That going sounds like the away. best. Uh, Very well. So, how's everyone dressed? I've got my fancy new dress on, okay. with my monk robes underneath. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, Looks pretty janky. <laughs> Shunnok's kind of wearing this kind of. Um, purple just kind of like kind of um jerkin going on um just kind of white shirt underneath uh nice and frilly just nice sleek black trousers mm. probably the same uh, type of dress as zolta hmm. zolta, nice. zolta wears very fancy sort of elven Okay, so you eventually um, make your way to the palace and you're let in by the guards, um, taken into the main hall, um, where a, 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 a large table is set up, ready for a feast, um, with Zolta sat at the, the head of it, uh, who stands up and uh, as you approach, and he says, Ah, friends, friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. Trust me, I have seen what is on for, <laughs> what is on for dinner tonight, and you would... Ugh. Yeah, I'm sure you all have never eaten anywhere, anything finer. So, uh, please, make yourself comfortable. Uh, would you like a, a new a wine, or...? One would be wonderful, thank you. Yeah, I'll go for some wine. Too. Mm, yes, yes, please. He sort of nods to his um, uh, servants, who go around um, filling up your goblets and um, tucking your chairs into the table and giving you all the cutlery that you need. Um, and... Uh, not before long, a large sort of uh, assortment of plates with meat and vegetables and um, various sauces uh, are brought in. Um, he says that uh, uh, please um, help yourself. There's 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 more than enough to go around, and and the dogs will be eating it if uh, if you do not finish it. So okay. <clears throat> I specifically leave a section out for the dogs. <laughs> Well, I'm sure the dogs uh, don't need to eat any more. Um, they have been putting on quite the pounds recently. Aww. I still leave a section out for the dogs. <laughs> uh, Taman says, uh, Thank you, um, uh, Lord Zinfaran, for your uh, gracious hospitality. Mm, thank you for your hospitality. He says, uh, Of course, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, of course, Taman and uh, and Mourner and the rest of the Clive Five and uh, Shunuk. Um You see Bet at the end of the table, sort of t tucking in, um, smiling. And uh, Zoltar says, "So, um, I I have to say, it, it has been a while since. Uh, I mean, the last time we really spent any time together, uh, at least Mourner and um, Scrimshaw. I, I, as for the rest of you, I, I do not know you very well, I'm afraid." Um, was when you saved me from uh, the doppelgangers. Yes. Yeah, how, how, how long has it been? Oh, it was... At least a year. Over a year. Yes, a year and oof, year and two or three months, I think. Hmm. It feels like yesterday. <laughs> Being locked in that uh, <laughs> that box by the doppelgangers, not knowing when. Uh, or if I would ever be saved. So that, that is something I am grateful for. 
One thing I've always wondered with doppelgangers, if I may, Lord Farin, how do you tell one from the other? What's to say that any of us aren't doppelgangers right now? <laughs> you see his eye twitch a little bit. Clearly that set off a little bit of his, <laughs> his, his trauma. <laughs> um, he says, oh, well, uh, and Tamman says, well, if I, if I may, um, doppelgangers are, uh, they are predatory animals who use the psychic energy of their hosts to impart an illusion on themselves. Anyone with any sort of basic magical training might be able to uh, see this magical energy. Ah. Curious. What kind of spells would facilitate that? A standard detect magic, I suppose. Oh. In fact, okay. so I think... Uh, and I don't let me speak for you, Bet, but when Eren um, was in the service of Lords in Faren, um, and the doppelgangers were here. It was explicit. The reason she didn't discover it was explicitly because she um, had been hidden. Right? Uh, the doppelgangers were hiding themselves from her. And Bet said, "Well, I think that's very right." So, um, doppelgangers don't tend to uh, don't tend to really come this this way up anyway. I think it was the work of Pietro um, and Master Amon. You convinced them to uh, head so far up from the Underdark? A thrilling story. Not a likely recurrence, then. Thankfully. Oh, well, I hope I hope not. And Zoltar's in fire and says, um, Yes, but uh, there have been some terrifying stories as yet um, about, well, similar type of stories to what I've heard. People being taken over. Nearby, or...? Mm, no, not nearby. Baratheon is, is the closest, I think. Is, but, is, is this recent? Uh, well, there seems to be a, uh, a few cities that uh, have... have had have, have, have had some strange like, like events going on. Um, I know that there was a bit of an incident not that long ago in uh, Dormont. In uh, Farinor. Um, well, I, I think there was some sort of assassination attempt on some lord. Uh, it was done by the lord's personal guard, which is strange, as they are the most loyal. Um, but he managed to survive, but uh, ever since he uh, has not really seemed the same. Not the same traumatized, or not the same. Well, I, I mean, not the same. I don't. I. I, I can't say. Um, I haven't been to Dormont, and this and news travels fairly slowly, and it is usually wrong. But from what I heard of them saying, ever since the assassination attempt, um, he has gone a full three, a full one hundred and eighty degrees uh, on a lot of his previous positions. Let's say. Then perhaps it wasn't an assassination attempt. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose. But uh, he is one of the most important lords in in Farinor. Um, and he holds considerable sway over the king. Hmm, interesting. Either way, um, Clive Five, how about you uh, give me? Well, what have you been up to recently? What what brings you to Oristas? Um, we were wondering if Erin was back yet. Mainly, uh, and Gira wanted to come and see your uh, Lord Master friend. Ah, yes. Um, well, uh, the last I heard was when uh, Bet got a letter that Erin will be heading back any time now. Oh! 
might, oh! might be in a month or a couple of months, you know. Is she bringing anyone? Well, I... I Illyrial. Yes, I think Illyrial will be there and, um, and Rainleaf as well. Oh, cool. I think the boy, uh, Gideon, I think he's staying. Mm. But uh, then again, she hasn't spoken much about Gideon. I think he, uh, he went his own way a little bit, I think. Oh, interesting. I wonder which way he's went. <laughs> Studying at some college of magic, I presume. <clears throat> I, yeah. uh, I detect a hint of something in your voice there, Mona. Yeah, I mean, well, he did once tell us that he wanted to be a lich, so... Did he ever use those words specifically? <laughs> uh, yes, actually, he did. Hmm. A curious thing to admit to friends. I know. That is why ever, why, why ever would she want to be a lich? Uh, why would there... anyone want to be a lich? It's quite an angry little child. So I, I, I believe he said he wanted to be able to control life and death so that the, his friends wouldn't be killed. Yeah, so you'd think he'd just go and study some, uh, the art, like, Illyrial studies. Rainleaf. You know, god stuff. I feel bad for the boy. <clears throat> Sounds very much so. That he seems to think that knowledge is somehow important in life and that he can control it. We're all yeah. just kind of muddling through. And... Yeah. I think that uh, if he's going to get anywhere in Eshmel, then he's, he better find a teacher. A good one. Well, hopefully he has found a good one. A good teacher and a good person are seldom the same thing. <laughs> I would disagree. <laughs> Tamo goes, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Would we be able to procure his assistance? Who's Gideon's? Uh, Gideon's probably well, not, not. Not just Gideon, but Aaron and, and, and all of them. I mean, it feels like we need help we can get from <laughs> there. And they also have a tuning fork that I would quite like. I, I, don't, I don't suppose, um, uh, Jolta, Simfarin, you, you, um. I, I don't suppose that you had you have any methods of contacting her. Uh, something a little, something slightly quicker than a uh, than a letter. Well, I have an emergency contact thing. But it's one one use. I do feel like this isn't an emergency though. Hmm. You could just wait for her to come back, right? Oh, I would say it most certainly is. I am in dire need of that tuning fork. I. <laughs> Shut up. I need to take. I need to <laughs> forward my books as fast as possible. No, it's not that kind of emergency. My publishers are asking for the first draft in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lose my job. God, you don't know what the publishing houses in the Feywilds like. Jesus. You feel like yeah. you hate though, right? Rivals. His rival's going to put out a book next week. Are you yeah. going to the Shadowfell with it? Is that the plan? Well, no, the tuning fork is attuned to some form of city in the astral plane. The astral plane. Interesting. <laughs> Why would you want to go there? It's way because... more fun here. Look, we've got bathhouses. Because there are also bathhouses there, and full of many more interesting things from other realms. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Well, Z Zoltar um, sort of stands up and uh, says, I, uh, yes, thank you all for coming. Um, it has been uh, very fantastic getting to meet you again. I hope that uh, I can reassure you all that if there's anything you need, um, you feel free to come and ask it of me. I uh, understand that Wolfram and you have all had a bit of a falling out recently. Is that fair to say? Um, I would uh. say that Wolfram had a falling out with one of our um, friends who is no longer in the part of this group. 
Yeah, th there, there was a slight tension, but I wouldn't go so far to say it was a falling out. Yeah, we need to put together a plan to make it up to him, I think, but just things got in the way. Well, like, like chocolates? Uh, yeah, flowers, he does, chocolates. He, he does like chocolates. Could just turn up and say sorry. Had, had, you, know, not, oh, had you not heard the news then? Oh no. What are you what about news? to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Is it good news or bad news? Well, I don't know. I don't think it's particularly good. Um, oh no! <laughs> just that after, after you left, uh, after you left Biel, Wolfram said that uh, he was no longer going to. He publicly stated that he was no longer going to um, offer the crown, crown treasury to your services anymore. Oh. oh, I think he's. Oh, I think he's broken up with you. Oh no! I mean, oh, not so much as a text. <laughs> and he's. He also said that you are no longer allowed on any crown property. Uh oh. I assume that doesn't mean our house, right? No, that's not crown property. That's your property. Okay. Yeah, I was just checking. Okay. 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 Um. Do you think maybe if we tell him that we kicked Gothric out of the group, he'll let us be a friends again? Seems like an I don't. I don't think this is related. I think it's he's not... just. Uh, I mean, you you only saw Wolfram in generally quite good times um, during the war. Uh, he had a very very uh, furious temper um, that. Little things could trigger, and then, uh, yes, he wouldn't be particularly kind afterwards. I think he may have inadvertently set off that. Uh, Gira kind of looks to, to, to um, Roxon. Does this track with your understanding of the man? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. It's... I just worry that maybe it wasn't his decision. It may have been influenced by the, uh, yes. the Tempest brand. It seems like a rather strange, stringent measure to take, especially in public. Why would he in public say something like that? Especially when we're also, such a powerful group of people, right, guys? Yeah, we're strong. Also, as Zothar said, there are a number of people across the, uh, across the continent potentially acting in ways that they wouldn't normally act yeah you wouldn't dare suggest that the king is acting in a way that is not 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 of his royal character would you i mean he likes I'm... us right <laughs> well, evidently just... not well i'm, I'm not I... making any sort of accusation i no. am no, we are not making just, any type of accusation here, Mortar. I just think that it should always, this type of thing should always be in the back of your mind. Well, yeah. That sounds like a terrible way to live. Always imagining someone is never the same, or they could be some kind of monster. Everyone you've ever known. <laughs> I mean... Regarding, we should completely write it off as a possibility. Yeah, I mean, it's the Tempest brand, right? Influencing his decisions. Well, I was... well, if, if, if I may, Lord Zoltar, this is all purely conjecture, obviously. Don't worry, I have um, kept Eren for over 15 years here, safe from the Tempest brand, so you can speak freely about them here. Hmm. Well, I'm not really particularly well versed in the Tempest brand. I take it they're assholes. Um, they don't like us because we don't worship the right gods. Oh, so they're assholes. It's a terrible, terrible plight. They don't tend to they like are. people who aren't Lavari either. That they are religious zealots. Okay, yeah. I. I find myself in the rare instance where I hate someone I've never even met. Wonderful. Yeah, they're, they're an easy group to dislike, for sure. And um, before we left, someone did... Oh, what was his name? Mm -mm -mm. 
was it one Ezekiel of the Kane? members. I think it might have been. Did I write it down? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, one of their members did a sort of lightly thrashed us. That was a Ezekiel I... Kane. Yeah, I... I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, I haven't written this down. I swear I wrote this down. Maybe I just didn't save. Oh, anyway, um, yeah. He well, before we left, um, just saying that he, he knows that we don't um, worship the pentasta. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, in a yeah, and said there was, you know, interesting and this type of, that type of talk. I wouldn't worry it about them. Like Taman says, uh, I wouldn't worry about them. The Tempest brand threaten all, pretty much everyone, and they haven't been powerful for a good few hundred years. I think they're getting powerful now, though, just because of the influence they have in PL, especially after killing Merith, mm. which I assume went to plan. You haven't heard anything about that, have you? Oh no, that was the uh, the event of the, of the century, I think. Hell yeah, I'm glad. I'm sure we missed the box. I missed it as well. I know we did want to stay and watch, but in fact, it's it's the reason. He's the reason that we didn't because he felt like maybe it wasn't the best place to be. Yeah. Damn it. Well, I just just stay on the right side of the law, and you won't give Wolf from any excuses to come after you. Or the Tempest Brand, that is. Mm. I did the have right side of the law is boring. <laughs> boring. Well, I would agree with you, but uh, unfortunately, we live in Tarsat, and they have laws. Tarsat's boring. Lord Zolta, you I recall a, con a few conversations the party have had about your your son, Kailus and Farin. Um we've been interested in lodestones for some time now. We heard that potentially your son might have some information upon a certain earth lodestone. I believe uh, it yes. relates to something called the Heart of the Forest. Yes, yes. I remember you asking me uh, this about a year ago. Oh, well, not, not you particularly, but some the rest of the clay Oh, well, is your in the event we wanted to, you know, just by chance, wanted to pursue this lead? You know, where could where could we potentially find him, if that's okay with you? Well, do what you like with him. I've been estranged estranged from him for a good few years now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, he lives in Rosenstas. Uh, remember. Uh, he did used to write at least every year, but last few years he's uh, stopped that as well. Oh, stopped writing. <laughs> he turns to uh, <laughs> as a uh, Shonak. Oh, what a pity. Um, Shonak is currently writing in a book. He has finished his food, and he's just writing. It's like, oh, sorry, what? Writing letters, that's what that's that is. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, he uh, would occasionally write letters to me, but uh, he no longer does so. Hmm. We had Were a... they happy letters or sad letters? Was he angry at you? I think he had a lot of um, resentment uh, of, uh, from me, of me, um, uh, especially after his mother died. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But I tried. I tried my best to raise him. Um, tried to give him a, a normal life. I sent him to the best schools. I sent him to the Arcanum. Um, and then he left, and didn't want any more anything to do with me anymore. He uh, had when he was in the Arcanum. He came across. Um, some sort of, yeah, well, well, some sort of lodestone. He called it the heart of the forest, or a heart of the forest. Um, it, it's been a long time. 
All right, I'm sorry to draw on the subject. We don't have to talk about that anymore. No, you're my guests. He like begins drinking uh, his his cup of wine. Please uh, go ahead. If, if there's anything that you want to ask, I mean we're all we're all friends. Could you hear the explosion from here, from the mountains? Oh, we did feel a mighty rumble. Yes, I did hear about the um, the orcs. I, I, I thought that was my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, just the uh, the mountain exploding. Yes, um, oh. a, a couple of miners uh, came out of it. That with quite a concussion. Yeah, it shut, shut down our minds for over a week. Well, for just under a week. Well, hopefully it won't happen again. What? Yes. Um, do you think it's likely to happen again? I should just I should ask you. I don't think so. I think, can, can a mountain explode twice? There's nothing to explode. Well, it's just two... Slightly smaller mountains now, I think, isn't it? Fair point. Uh, well, the the one who caused the explosion is now gone. So... I see no reason to think it'll happen again. Well, if you believe so... Um. <sighs> Boom! The, um... <laughs> If I if I'm honest, the living in Oristas isn't really the most exciting. Don't please don't uh, think uh, I am doing some sort of um, nicety on you by asking you here and talking to you. It's honestly because I'm interested. It has been a while uh, since I've had any guests, especially after the doppelganger incident. Uh, not many people want to come to Oristas anymore to visit. I suppose it is a bit... It's, it's a little out of the way, isn't it? Well, yes. But uh, I did occasionally enjoy having a, a few nobles around every now and again. At least an end-of-year party. But no one's talked to me or visited me. Do you have any plans to change that? Or, you know, do something else? <sighs> I suppose I should uh, revel in the silence that I've recently had uh, a lot of a lot of lords would give anything to be uh, in my position I suppose you don't seem to fully buy that proposition no I uh, I've always been a noble who's on the edge on the outcasts of what is acceptable that's why I kept Erin here that's why I've been a fervent opposer of the Tempest brand and their influence um, but I I have run Oristas dutifully all my life, and uh, we are one of the most important cities in, in the Empire. You're looking for adventure, perhaps? Well, I don't have an heir, so I can't leave, leave this place to anyone. I'm sure a strapping man such as yourself would have no trouble finding a a lovely woman with which to produce an heir. Well, it's more to life than that. By the time I've found someone to marry and then have kids, and then at least 20 years of my life will have gone. Can't you just get someone else to raise them? Well, then what sort of father would I be? I, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> oh, serious one. I might as well just give all my all my properties to you <laughs> ha 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 yeah you can do that <laughs> I mean you're the one that suggested it yes I was suggesting it in jest <laughs> but put the jest in the jest <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't fancy a, uh, a trip to a Rakatar Bet says uh, well if you want to go on an adventure you could always hire. You could always call someone your your regent whilst you're away. Erin, maybe when she's back. 
And Zoltra says, I don't know. I did do adventuring it. in my young, young days. It. Do it. Where would I go? What, what would I do? You could come with us to the Spiderlands. Oh, goodness. Give me somewhere <laughs> hot and nice and with a beach. Not, not some arid mountain range. Oh, so, so you're thinking more holiday than... Uh, adventure. Oh. Yes, well, there's those companies that do those holiday adventure packages. Oh. And you know, <laughs> you go you, oh, yes, I, you go to somewhere, I, you go to some some tropical islands for two weeks, and you have a full adventure, and you come back, and you feel refreshed, and then you can. Do they like? I did work for one of those a few years back. It's good <laughs> do, money. They, do they do they kind of take you through various adventures where they they slay beasts and make you feel like you took part? Well, no, I did the I hosted the. So we, we took them out there. We gave them the illusion they were in danger, but all it really was was a couple of goblins that we had, you know, we'd sewn their eyes shut and things oh like that. So they couldn't God. really do anything. Oh and my I, God! And then, and then at least I would just I would just go up to them and you know. Well, I really we, don't. We, we uh we nailed swords to their hands as well to make it look even scarier. Oh, so, right. so they were just running at you for help and uh help of vengeance well they couldn't see where they were going so you know they were just, just running. Kind of running they were just kind of running oh christ and they were like grunts yeah. in halo who's christ <laughs> sure not it's, it's yeah, a pretty why would it be a person it's just a it's just a word that you say when you're oh well, yes i forget it comes from elvish i thought the correct vernacular was titus around here well not here but you know what i mean Yes, Titus Christ. Um, Titus Christ. <laughs> Jesus star. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to go on one of those, I could, I could find you. You know, hook you up with a good place. Or if you'd rather pass, it's fair enough. Well, I'd rather if I was going to have an adventure, it would be something high octane, something fun, yeah, something well, going. like the Spiderlands. So something that has some sort of reward at the end. Spiderlands. I'm sorry, but going to a mountain range infestated with spiders and cultists, it, up a mount, uh, attacking a some sort of big, horrible, evil tower does not sound somewhere something fun to me. You scared? Uh, a little, yes. I'm. There's been a, it's a long time. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. I'm sure Mon will look after you. Uh, we, we could yeah. find a we could find a Balgura for you to fight. Um, we yeah. could rig it if uh, you're not confident. We could do it right now. Well, how about this? Uh, I, I'm not in a rush immediately to, to to be headed off. If you can find somewhere for me to uh, come adventuring, um, somewhere safe and somewhere <laughs> warm and, and and nice, and I could come with you for a couple of weeks, and I would pay Ooh, you handsomely. I know where you'd probably like to go. Lucenia's pretty fun. Lucenia, that's not very warm. That's true, but it is interesting. There's gnomes there, and they have lots of cool technology. We do technically have a boat. I mean, I'm we sure Zoltar has a boat, right? Adventure cruise! Uh, so where I, where, I where you... is warm? Um, I, I'm, I'm not There's quite... Ashmelon. Go to Cyril. So now. That's more than two weeks away. Mm. I, I I would like to go on an adventure for two weeks, and then be back, preferably by New Year. I hear Orifice is quite nice this time of year. <laughs> well, that's your challenge. If you were to if you are to find me somewhere that I could have a uh, have a bit of a holiday at, um, I will pay you handsomely to take me there and protect me and blah blah blah. I could find you a tuning fork to the elemental plane of fire. <laughs> That's <nice and> warm. <laughs> mm. Well, I actually already have one of those, but um, but thank you for the offer. Do, do you have a what? A, a tuning fork, yes. A ghost where? To the elemental plane of fire. Is that the one that we got you? That is, well remembered. Mm. What do you want? For oh, it? the pack. Oh, the package. Oh, it's been so long. 
Yeah. Yes, you had to save me from doppelgangers just to deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It is uh, very dedicated postal service. So the, the the plane of fire is that uh is is is, is, is it just on fire? There's is a lot there just... of fire there, a lot of it. So if you if you <laughs> there if you is one there, single just, flame. <laughs> if you travel there, are you just burning? I think it's mostly lava. All the stuff that is flammable tended to have burnt up a long time ago. So so it's not hospitable then. Oh well, you can live there. I know people who do. Well, I don't personally know people who do, but I know people do. Do, do you need some kind of magical assistance to do so, or is it just a bit warm? Well, I, I've never it's been, toasty. but um, the reason I got it was um, uh, because my good friend Mahir Vahiran, who unfortunately passed away, um, he uh, he was he was in the business of selling chewing books. And uh, he said it was a good offer, and I said, well, if I need to go, I have a, I have Erin. She can take me there. But I never used it in the end. Well, if you don't plan on using it, then perhaps I could? Uh, that is, uh, is well, it expensive? Be, it'll be somewhere hot you could go. Yes. It would be. I kind of what meant tropical, you know, lie on the beach and sunbathe hot. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said high octane. Yes, high octane beach adventure. So <laughs> laying on laying on the beach, but you stab a crab to uh, death. You might a, a creature might attack at any moment. Have you ever seen the play Jaws? <laughs> I've heard of it. <laughs> it's very good. Um. The, uh, the the animatronics that they have in these modern modern plays are very good. Um, that sort of thing, something with a a mystery, some sort of some sort of adventure on a beach, and then I can have a bit of a holiday as well. Well, we'll see if we can come up with anything. <sighs> yes, I, I again, so I, I will pay you very fork. handsome. Uh, the tuning fork is not for sale, I'm afraid. I thought you were going to go to the astral plane anyway. Not well, that... yes, but the more tuning forks you have, the more places you can go and the more books you can write. Isn't the astral plane like a god graveyard? Where the gods go to die, right? There are places in the astral plane where gods go to die. So what's on the astral plane? Lots of cities, lots of other things, lots of creatures. Cities? No, yes. I'm sure it's just like a a god graveyard, right? That's like they no. they go there and then they die, and that's all that happens in the astral plane. What 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 information have you been looking at? Uh, I don't know. I just that's just what I'd heard. No, no, there are there's a lot that goes on in the astral plane. Hmm. Interesting. How does one attune one of these forks to a plane? Oh, that well, is a tricky you, question. You get a meal from that plane, and you get the, the fork and the knife, and then you eat with it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What? But you got <laughs> here. Yes, because it's easier to get back and forth between the Feywild and here. There are. But it's what a lot about... closer. But what about when you went from here to the Feywild? I didn't go for... Oh, that's a different story. Right? Yeah, care to tell it? You do love telling stories. <laughs> My mother was from there. My father, unfortunately, had passed. And she took me home. Right. So where are you from and around here? Like, where were you born? Near Darkbridge. Ah, that's like where we live. <laughs> we should take you back. How old were you? Do that you was my it? family home, first of all. <laughs> 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 it was taken from us by... <laughs> I was three years old when my father was murdered. Oh. Who by? 
Eh, yeah, some bandit. Was I don't it? expect it. I don't wasn't expect that awful, it. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello, dude. Oh. <laughs> no, that was that was a good time ago. I don't think that they're around anymore. Yeah, we oh. probably killed them. <laughs> yeah. How old? How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? As old as my tongue and a little older than my teeth. <sighs> is that is that in elf years or human years? <laughs> Wait, so you have one tongue. I thought you had a new tongue. Yeah. Yeah, you got given a new tongue. Yeah, surely you're not okay. a tongue. That is as old as my fingers, then. I've heard that... I've I've heard that the, all the cells in your body replenish roughly once every seven years. Yeah. Look, it's seven? a Are you saying. Seven? It's a saying. What's not a so much. Yeah, what's a cell? <laughs> it's where you get locked up, Gira. Uh -huh. well. No, that's an oubliette. Oubliette. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oubliette. <laughs> 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 it's a carriage service. I, I was kind of looking for a number. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely sure. It gets kind of muddled. Time passes differently in the Feywild to here. What's, what is the current year? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 I know the date. Like, like nine something, maybe? No. <laughs> eight, eight, eight something. Yeah. Eight, eight hundred and eighty. No. It will take a hundred years. Hold on. Eight hundred eighteen, of course. Of course, it was. Oh yes, eight eighteen. It's like winter, right? Uh, no, it's sorry, the twenty-first yeah. day of autumn. Well, we had the spring you know, change festival. So what, oh what, yeah. Once you get past three hundred or so, you just kind of start forgetting what the year. You just start forgetting what the year is. Well, I had originally left this place around two hundred and fifty years ago. Well, oh, wow. you're old. Well, old. I'm young. Well, I'm only twenty-five years old. By Feywild. There we go. <laughs> ah, <got laughs> <out> of him. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so, so it's twenty-five years that you have experienced. Then. Yes. But you know, there's two sons and stuff. It's really hard to like tell what the year is. And... Yeah, <laughs> in the Fey world. <laughs> if you were to calculate human time in the Fey world, it would have been around twenty-five years. Okay. Note to self, certainly won't be going to the Feywild any time soon. Your loss. Well, I don't quite like, you know, going to one place and coming back to the other and finding everyone I'm aware of dead. I've done that once before and I didn't fancy it again. Oh, that's only sometimes. Sometimes it's just, you know, the... Hey, well, it's weird. Yeah, it, it tends to, time tends to move uh, ten times the speed. I must say, so I, I, I asked. Say well. I, I did. I mentioned it before. Um, the in in the Feywild, I believe there's a gate called the uh, the Black Gate of Rada Alora. Have you have you been there? Do you know how to reach it? I haven't been there exactly. I just know I don't like it. There's a lot of places in the fair world I love. What's what's wrong with it? It's it's just not a place people like me like to be. You know, we're not we're not fiends. You know, it's, it's just that, that, that we fiends. What 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 connection does this gate have with fiends? Well, that's where Ashigar lives. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Hmm. So, 
So is is this like a connection to to the abyss or hell or? I don't fucking know. I'm I'm not particularly interested in it. I want to fucking move in the opposite direction of that place. If I'm perfectly honest with you. Right. Okay. Um. Okay, so we may need to go there at some point. Oh, great. Tarman, what the fuck have you gotten me into? Hey, you want the tuning fork? You gotta do what they want. Want the tuning fork? Gotta chew the, do the tuning walk. Tuning walk. <laughs> I hate exactly. the sometimes. <laughs> Note to self, never make any more deals with material playing people. Well, the thing about material plain people, uh, as Altar says, is that we tend to want something for something else. Unlike in the Feywild, where everyone's so happy about just being up in each other's business all the time that no nothing ever gets done. A surprising amount gets done, it just tends not to be productive stuff. Oh, I rest my case. <laughs> In fact, a lot happens every single day. A surprising amount. It's just never what needs to be done. Because no, no one has ever frankly, done any we... dishes. <laughs> <laughs> quite frankly, we hate the idea of needing things to be done. We just like to do things that we want to do done. Yes, I see. Quite nice. Well, um... It's been fantastic talking to all of you. Um, feel feel free to stay here as long as you like, or uh, whether Beth is willing to allow you to stay in Owen's Tower or not. Uh, either way, there is rooms for you here. Stay as long as you like. Um, I Thank hope you. that uh, for the rest of your journeys, you are you are safe, and uh, I hope that you visit some other time. It has been fantastic, uh, fantastic evening. I'm sure yes. we'll uh, be back at some stage. Yeah, Resultar gets up and bows to you all. He uh, takes the goblet of wine, fills it up, and then sort of staggers out over, <laughs> over to the main corridor and goes up to his room. Right. So, um, so Wolfram. Hey, yeah, maybe we should message him mine. and just check. My, mine. Everything's okay. The do the, do the doppelganger mind flare thing seems uh, like a possible connection. Right? Am I crazy? I feel like it's going to be more like the. Uh... Do I know anything about mind flayers, Mike? Make a religion check. Religion check. Hang on. Twenty six. Hmm. You know. Um... You don't know much about Mind Flayers in this realm, but you, you've heard plenty of stories about Mind Flayers. They tend to pop up in, everywhere, in every realm, in every story. Um, they tend to be the great enslavers of space and time. Um, going to different realms, there's often... Uh, and different planets and different realms, there's often many, many civilizations which have been scarred by um, Mind Flayer invasions. Um, at the very least, uh, societies are crumble um, after de finally defeating Elder Brains, but, you know, usually what ends up happening is that Mind Flayers take over, and then move on, and then just leave a sort of scarred behind world um, left. Um, however, you, you know that Mind Flayers tend to appear kind of randomly, like... Just like spores, almost uh, like uh, like mushroom spores, just seeking somewhere to grow. Um, but you also know that they, they they tend to like stick to quite small areas because the elder brain doesn't have like 100% control over everything um, all across the world. So they tend to like pop up in various areas and then get put down and then pop up somewhere else and then get put down. So. Um, you, you, yeah. There wouldn't be like so much control by one elder brain, it, it seems, o over these sort of distances, unless it's a very powerful one. 
Okay. Um, I relay all that because asking you to repeat that so I could okay, so... say it all is yeah. Yeah. So if there if there is an elder brain in Dormont, it would not its power would not be able to reach the L. Unless there's multiple elder brains. Or unless I mean an elder brain, an average elder brain. Um, Tumman speaks up. It says, uh, from what I've heard, from what I've read, it seems to have a radius of above about five hundred miles that it has quite good control in. Ooh, that is wider than I expected. Wait, what is that? Um, what that's... is the distance between Raphael and Dormont? We can a... see, can't we, on the map? Mm. See, do the little thing. Oh, shit. Let me zoom out. Whee! So, 959.2 miles. So, possibly... I meant, I meant diameter of 500, sorry. Oh, so two, okay. okay, so 250, yeah. Okay, so... It could be Karnia. No, I can it, it could be Bolikov. <laughs> Wait, That's diameter. It. Is that... Which, is that hmm. which one's diameter? Diameter's like the total, like, from one uh, point to another on a circle. Yeah, so, I don't know. Radius. Look where the red arrow is, though. Yeah. Can that fit Barathon and Dormont? Uh, no. Uh, no, no. But you can get uh, Barathon and VL. Really? Yeah. I mean... Hang on. You mentioned that there were creatures of that form here, did you? Doppelgangers. They're not. Uh, Are they? Mind flayers. Mind flayers? No, they didn't. Uh, no, though, I, from from what Tarman was saying about the potential mind, the potential mind flayers, um, it sounds like they're taking on a similar role that doppelgangers may take, appearing as doppelgangers do. Taking or, out other people's positions, appearing to be that person. Or maybe it is that person and they've been indoctrinated. Perhaps. Regardless, we've seen them in we've seen them in Barathon, and we have now reason to believe that they may be in Dormont as well. <laughs> With those distances that suggests two elder brains. Presuming that they are are operating within the radius of one, that they require that. Or perhaps it's not an average elder brain. An elder giga brain. Well, maybe we should the, try and see what the if there's eldest any... brain. Uh, sorry, Moya. Um, I can't remember what I was playing. <laughs> Um, well, if there uh, is yeah, no, I do remember. So, sorry. Um, maybe we need to have a listen out to um, what other places have had similar things happen. So, VL, Barathon, we might be able to, you know, center on it if it's only about 500 miles. Hmm. Or perhaps there's just several, four, several brains. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Well, surely the um, the, un the Underdark... Speaking to someone from the Underdark would be the most likely way of um, discovering where the Elder Brain might be situated, because, for example, in Thandir, they surely have patrols and have mapped Mind Flayer locations. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan, and we know it's got something to do with the Oracle as well, even if... Because the Oracle will never speak about mind flares. Is the Oracle right? The prophet of all prophet, things. Prophet, sorry, yeah. yeah. The prophet. Profitable things. Yes. I don't think the prophet's a mind, an elder brain, do you? I, it didn't seem like one. 
What does it look like? Wasn't it like a... It's like a cloud. You didn't really see its true form. I was imagine Alderbrain's the face of Bo. <laughs> 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 Alright, well we should stop here for today then, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Alright, All right, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for, for running. running.